private label hair care company. So I know I got a new look, right? <laughs> I have on my Sheila units because I got tired of wearing that stupid hat and I wanted to be able to wear my pretty shirt. And if the hat is not cute to go with the shirt, then we cannot wear it. So today is my final day of the year in the salon um, of 2022. So of course, you guys know we're doing a work with me. Um, last night we did a cook with me, which was super fun. We, we laughed a lot. Um, so my client here who had tapins um, that we replaced the other day, she took her tapins out because she's getting her hair relaxed. Uh, and then we're gonna do her tapins again in January, which is perfect timing. Um, and I'll basically have her, her tapins all, all ready to go. Um, she removed hers herself, which she used, what was it called? Um, a bond remover. Ba a bond remover. C22. Oh gosh, that's what you used? Oh. Oh my gosh, that's why it took you so long. Oh. Stay away from that foolishness. Oh. So she used C22 to remove them. She could have texted me and said, Chris, you know, this is I my, don't this you. is my, you see how polite she is? This was the polite client that said, what am I doing wrong with my tape ends when it was nothing that she did wrong? So she didn't want to bother me, but she could have just texted me and asked me, hey, what's the easiest way to get the tape-ins out? And I would have told her, spray a little bit of 91% alcohol on each tape-in, rub it in, let it sit for a second, and they literally peel apart because the alcohol and the adhesive do not work together. They work against each other. But she got them out on her own um, with her C, whatever, C97.224. <laughs> um, today is definitely going to be a relaxer day for her. Um, if you can't tell, her roots are like, woo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good morning, everyone, as you guys are coming in. And also, as you guys are coming in, there's already 106 of you on this live. Wow. Please go and hit the thumbs up button before you start chatting, before you even say good morning to each other. Go and hit that thumbs up button, please, and thank you. Um, so if I had the adhesive, we would do her tapings again today. But... I have to order some more adhesive strips and then I'd have to wash her tape-ins and all that. So I don't actually have the time to do that today. So she already has an appointment in January, at which time we'll do her protein treatment anyway. And then we will um, reapply her tape-ins. Okay. Let's see. All right. Thank you guys to everyone who's already hit that thumbs up button on your way in. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are awesome. Who is this woman? Crystal, look, you look beautiful. Already done it. Thank you. Um, I just I decided to wear one of my units that I keep in like a plastic bag at home. Good morning. How are you? Good. Um, I just decided to kind of like wear a wig today. I get my hair done on Friday, and I'm sure everybody's tired of looking at me and saying, you look like a boy. <laughs> Or I don't look like, like last night I did cook with me with a hat on in my kitchen. That was the most uncomfortable cook with me ever because wearing a hat at home is a no for me. Mm -hmm. I can be myself. I can be raggedy me at home. But when I'm on camera with you guys, it's kind of hard to be raggedy me. Oh, my moderator is here. You got your phone. Oh, yes. yes. Absolutely. You see? Look at that. <laughs> my moderator is here. <laughs> um, but I did get, I got a new TV. And I mirrored my phone, but it, oh my I, I'm still working, right? So I can mirror all day, but I can't keep looking at the TV and working, yeah. trying to read the comments because they stroll by so fast. And it's like a million of you on here at any given time, so I can't read all the questions. <laughs> but my trusty clients are here, so they help to moderate for me. What are you, what are you getting done today, Mom? Just wash oh. Did we do your relax a lot so quickly? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're doing a protein today. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Tell her I know what's like that beautiful. Uh -huh. I said your edges are nice. Yeah, they're and nice and laid. They look nice and silky. <laughs> Hi, Pac. Oh, you just gotta turn down the volume because it's gonna echo. Like you're talking to yourself. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see. Only questions. If there's no questions, don't bother. Oh, someone's um, inquiring about uh, order. So for order inquiries, please go to our website and click that button that says contact. And you'll be able to um, inquire about your order there or complete a missing order form. 
but we don't handle order inquiries or order questions on YouTube. So if you actually click the link in the description box, I made it super easy. Click the link in the description box of this video where it just says more. If you click that first link, there is actually a link that says contact there. And it'll take you straight to the contact forum where it'll ask you a couple questions about your order, whatever, whatever. And then it will give you details on what to do so that we can get the situation rectified if your order is still stuck in transit somewhere. Which is a lot of orders, by the way. A lot of people have had the same issue. Girl, post office has lost so much of our orders. It's ridiculous. So yeah, they've been they've been doing pretty bad this year. No, they they did real bad. My this opinion, year. though, so <laughs> no, they did they did real bad this year. I'm not even gonna tell a lie. They did real bad this year. They weren't prepared, and then you're cutting people's hours, knowing that yeah. you're you're taking in three times the load. Mm -hmm. Yet you're cutting no hours. No one wants to go out anymore. Like our, um, one of the people on live was like. I guess they work at the post office and that they're not giving any overtime. So they're expecting them to get all of this work done in regular business hours. Yet you're taking yeah. in three times the amount of things that you would have taken in on a regular day. Yeah. They just delivered something to my house. It was just all glass. All the liquid <laughs> fell out. It was just glass. Uh-huh. They don't care about anything. Yeah. And then they use these machines that have no, they're not people. So they don't have feeling and they crush your orders too. So we've changed, we've done a lot of changes within the last like three to four weeks. So we've taken any bottle that has a spray top outside of the Hydra Strength, it doesn't come delivered with a spray top anymore. It comes delivered with a closed cap, okay. not even a disc cap. And we just put the spray top in the box. So when you get it, you unscrew the cap. So there's no way for it to come loose in the package. And then when you get it, the spray top is there. So if you don't want to use it right away, you ain't going to worry about that either. Huh. And then you unscrew the cap. The cap is not like a disc cap. It's just a closed cap. We call it a closed cap. You screw it on. And then you put your cap on or your, your treatment pump on yourself. That's crazy. Yeah. Because they, it's gotten so bad that UPS has blocked any claims that we make for packages that have spills. That's how bad it got. So we can't put in any claims for those. So now that we've changed the packaging... Can't say nothing. That means you ran over my package. <laughs> that mean that means that our driver, we call him LeBron, you kicked our package inside the warehouse. That's that's what you did. I'm just playing, okay? Because I know I know Cam's wife sometimes watches the live. I'm just joking. He does not kick our packages. <laughs> the crazy thing is, our driver, his wife is actually a client. She was my client before I knew that he was our driver. <laughs> So one day he's like, you do my wife's hair. And I'm like, who's your wife? And he tells me, I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's just like a small world. Like, wait, so you're our driver. You cuss us out every day. And I do your wife's hair. Wow, this is ironic. Because our order's the last one, and it didn't have it yet. So you just started putting the um, caps Mm -mm. And yeah, problem? we just started doing okay. that. That's like smart. within, well, there's only one product that we don't change the top. And anything that we already had bottled before we did this change, we can't take the top off because right. it's full of product. So it's anything that we have done um, production on since, since the sale. So only the new items that we do production on will come that way. The ones that already have the tops on it, we can't change. So we still kind of have to go through the cycle of some type of damages, if any. Not everybody gets it damaged. It's just some post people like us and some don't. Like, oh, I'm so tired of living to this house. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I was telling them, um, everybody yesterday and all the last, the last couple of days as well, that we've changed our customer service um, system. So now it's a little more automated. Uh, we actually have a form for those who are missing items or have damaged items where you can upload your pictures now. You don't have to just send us an email and then wait for a response. We're not doing that anymore. You send us that form. You get a copy. We handle it. We email you, let you know, hey, blah, 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 blah. It puts notes on your order. You can search your order by orders. Can you take some of these other people? So when you go to our contact page, it'll ask you to put in your email address and your order number. And it will pull up every order you've ever had with us under that email address. And then you choose which order you're looking at. And then there's a button on there that says report a problem. 
What's so when you when you click report a problem, I'm about to send that lady to your your website because it's ridiculous. <laughs> when you click report a problem, it gives you we call them conditions. It gives you a bunch of different conditions. So one of the problems might be my order stuck in transit, which is one of the biggest problems that we're having right now. Where we shipped it, but it doesn't show that we did anything other than created a label and they accepted it. Mm -hmm. So then when you say my order stuck in transit. It then says your request has been submitted and within a minute or two, it sends you an email and that email tells you what to do. Um, meaning fill out this form, um, upload any pictures, if any, depending on the situation. And then it sends us a message through that same system. It updates your order that you were contacting us. It, it's it's kind of like a lot. It just it kind of just gives you like an automated flow. But you feel better, especially if you're not speaking to someone. Right. And your money is spent. Right. And then it also puts it in a queue for us. Okay. So customer service is instructed that they have to answer any client emails within 24 to 48 business hours. So once you go through the flow and you do the form and everything is done, at that moment is when the 24 to 48 business hours starts because we need the form before we can do anything. And then at that moment, they research, they do whatever. If we notice that it's something that we already sent, then they'll cancel that, that label, create a claim for that label, and then make you a new order. Okay. That kind of thing. Because some things you... If, and, and it's kind of hard, too, because we also have a, a 10 business day rule that it has to have been past 10 business days for us to do anything. Right, because... We don't have a time frame to tell them, hey, UPS said you're going to have your order in three days. They can say three days, but they don't legally, they legally can have it forever. Oh, wow. There's nothing that we can do about it. We just have to be courteous and rectify it at our cost. So these are the things with business, but I can tell you guys, I, I invested in this system a long time ago. I just was never really using it. So I'm using it now. Black Friday really showed me to use it this time. So I've been working on that thing for every weekend at night on the way to drop my kids off. I'm working on it. Oh, wow. All right. So I'm done applying most of her relaxer. Uh, we're going to finish this side over here. Um, I'm using a fiber guard relaxer for her, which is a little bit thicker. Um, I love the fiber guard relaxer, though. And no, this is not a relaxer that you can purchase. Do I, would I even recommend you purchase? No, professional only. Keep it that way. Yes, everybody's super quiet. Now I have a moderator. If you have a question, you better ask. Misha from Charleston, South Carolina, wishes everyone well and happy Christmas. Thank you, Misha. Okay, here's one from Tia. Are you interested in training people who want to provide alopecia care in other states to extend your business? Um, I already offer that. I already offer virtual classes or virtual one-on-ones. Mm -hmm. You just have to inquire. Okay. A lady asked, do you sell products for Caucasian hair? Our products can be used on multi-culture. So it's multi-textured products. The only product that I would not recommend you use if you're Caucasian and you have fine textured hair, as I would assume, is the moist repair. But you can use all of our other products. So Moist Repair and the Goddess Hair Repair Serum, I would not recommend you use because they're intense moisturizing products. Moisture is usually not your problem. But you can definitely use our Empress Collection. You can use our B7 Collection. You can use our Hair Repair. Mm -hmm. So you can use any one. Okay, so Mary Gibbs asks, which was the same question I was going to ask, what's the difference between this relaxer, the Fiber Guard, and others? There, there's a huge difference. I can't explain it. it it's kind of like, that's like a pro question, but there's a huge difference. It's not something to say I'm going to go and request a fiber guard relaxer from my, my stylist. 
the relaxer collection is called fiber guard not meaning oh this is the relaxer type not every company has a fiber guard relaxer it's not a thing that's just their name of their relaxer does that make sense yep so yeah it's, it's not a thing so y'all don't go to your stylist and say could you use a fiber guard <laughs> they're gonna look at you crazy <laughs> like what is that Okay, um, Linda LaPoole says she had COVID in June. Since then, her hair has been shedding. Mm -hmm. Which one of your products should I use or she use? So, with shedding and COVID, we were talking about this on Monday in Monday's Live um, because I have another client who had the same issue. A lot of people, so not funny, um, have had that issue. So, the Delta 9 variant specifically. Um, is the one that people started to discover they were shedding a lot more after they had that virus. Um, and it's medically been medically observed and also medically stated that shedding can last anywhere from nine months to a year after having that variant. Now, not everyone has it, has shedding for nine months. But because it's something that's viral, you have to just, it's, it's just like having a viral cold. They're not going to give you an antibiotic if it's viral. Because there's nothing that you can do. It's in the blood. It's just, it has to just filter itself out. And this is why your body creates antibodies. But even with those antibodies, they're not going to fix everything. They're going to have to work and build up and, and just kind of push the virus out. Mm -hmm. So with the hair, it's more like you can aid in the process. But there's nothing you can do to really stop that process. If it's gonna shed, it's going to shed. Now, how I would say you can aid in helping with the process, you can do a protein treatment here and there. Protein is something that's definitely great for rebuilding those bonds in the hair. In the meantime, make sure that you're not allowing your hair to get super dehydrated. Make sure that you're not allowing your hair to become super weak because guess what? You'll neglect your hair and cover it up thinking that you're gonna stop the shedding that way and it's really gonna make it worse. Because now you're dehydrating the hair. So that one. But you can use the Repair RX protein treatment. You can use our B7. Um, I would definitely say start some vitamins, whether it be our Goddess Growth Gummies or a multivitamin through your physician. Um, but remember, the vitamin is going to help internally, not externally. Someone said your hair is cute. And someone asked if that was a lace wig. It is a lace wig, but it's glueless, honey. I don't, I don't waste my time installing units on my head. Then someone mentioned that the firm is a fiber guard relaxer, sensitive, I guess you meant scalp, scalp relaxer? No, that's incorrect. A firm makes a fiber guard relaxer, but it's not sensitive scalp. Like I said, fiber guard is a collection. They have it's different versions of the same fiber guard, but it could be medium, it could be sensitive, it could be coarse. It could be normal or mild. It could be anything. So I, that's why I don't get into the chemical talk because it's, it's something that's gonna be misunderstood. Then someone also mentions, if you're not licensed and you don't know how to measure and properly rinse the relaxer out completely, you will damage your hair. Also, the neutralizer doesn't come color coded like a box relax box relaxer kit. I'm sorry. Well, actually, some of the affirm. I'm not. I'm not so gonna go there. Okay. It's okay. So we're done with those questions. Yeah, it, it's it's too much information. You guys just stick with a pro. That's it. Okay, so Linda, I think she was the one who asked the question. So she said, "Thank you for the information, Crystal. She appreciates it." Oh, you're welcome. I didn't know that. I know COVID, you know, some people didn't have taste. No, that's um, some. They some had COVID it. brain. That's a, it did a lot. It did a lot to the body. Like, I mean, honestly, anything that has to do with internally in the body, guess what's always affected? How do you know when something's wrong? Skin. There's the skin. Your what else? Hair, your nails. Skin, hair, and nails. Those are your telltale indicators. Those are your color indicators. If a baby has jaundice, how do they know? Was it the yellow eyes? Yellow eyes and what else? And the skin. Yellow skin. Yeah. If you have diabetes, some people, not all, 
you can look at the beds of their fingers. If you have thyroid disease, you can look at the yellow in your eyes. You can look at the, the dryness of the skin. It all goes hand in hand. And remember, it's too late. remember, skin and scalp are exactly the same thing. The scalp is just skin. We just gave it a name. That's like your elbow is still what? What is it? It's a bone, right? Uh -huh. Okay, but you have a name for it, right? But it's still a bone. That's You get what I mean? So I try to tell people, like, if it's affecting your skin or something that can affect the blood, it's going to affect the hair. Because the hair is, is held in by what? Skin. skin. What stimulates that? What are we stimulating so that the hair can grow? The, skin. the blood flow. The, the skin, blood now. Blood. So now it's internal. Oh, okay, so here's another question. What product, if any, would you recommend for dry scalp on men? Um, dry scalp on men. I mean, you can actually use, yeah, somewhat. They're, they're, they have a higher metabolism, so they're always running and running. Um, you can actually use the Flames Up um, hair and beard wash um, and the hair and beard conditioner because it contains rosemary, contains hemp seed, so it's gonna soothe, and it also smells like a guy. I know you wanna smell like a guy. Um, so yeah, if you go to flamesup.net, you can use the beard wash or the beard conditioner. Said you're correct. She was just diagnosed with a cyst on her thyroid. I've had that. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. Wonderful oh comments. You look so pretty today, Krista. Thank you. Shoes aggravate me. I don't like anything that feels like it's just holding on to my feet. No, I hate them. Even when I drive, I can't drive with shoes on. I have to be barefoot. I have to be able to like feel the pedal. I like to walk bare. I'm one of those little ghetto country kids, you know, who lived in the suburbs. <laughs> you know, I like I like my feet to breathe. I don't like to feel like they're going numb because that's what it feels like. All right, my love, come on over to the shampoo bowl. You can take off your coat. You stay right here. Oh, sorry. This is kind of quiet. Oh, that's so cute. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you can see everything now. Okay, you see everything. You just like, we're in New York. I, listen, that's where I'm from, but I tell you, I ain't moved down here for this. It is not that cold out there. That's, that's, that's the, that's the next thing. Like, we are not. Don't do that. It's, it's not even that cold outside. Y'all want it to be sunny forever. At least 70. No, no it's going to be 70 in like an hour. <sighs> Too long. Hold on. All right, you guys. So we're going to do a wash and protein treatment. That protein thing smells so good. Thanks. I got it at home. <laughs> you want to take off the straps and your glasses. to a holiday party the same day you did my hair. So I was like, oh, did you get pieces put in? Girl, no. That's my hair. Come on back for me. All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and do a shampoo and a protein treatment for those of you that have been asking about shedding or talking about shedding. This is exactly how we do our protein treatment, which is the Elite Repair RX um, protein system. Come on back a little bit. There you go. And then just relax. Yep. Okay. So we're going to start, of course, by saturating her. 
thoroughly. So she just got a relaxer about two, three weeks ago. So now it's time for her protein, which is exactly when I always tell you guys, if you're relaxed, this is when you would do your protein treatment. So we're going to start off by using the Elite Clarify to cleanse her hair and her scalp. You always want to start off by cleaning the hair, cleaning the scalp of any excess oils, dirt, debris, objects, whatever. Um, this is going to set you up for success with your treatment shampoos. You don't really want to use your luxury treatment shampoos for cleansing of this hair and, and dirt. You want to use those for actual treatment. So. This is why we start with the Elite Clarify. Ow. Uh oh. Oh, these nails are super fragile right now. Okay, so for her shampoo, I'm going to use the B7 Volumizing Biotin and Kapasu Butter Shampoo. This is from our newest collection, which is called B7 Beyond. It can be used on any texture here. So it doesn't matter if you're fine, medium, or coarse textured. It gives a good balance, but really the, the benefits is the biotin and all of the tropical butters or emollients that are used. I like the B7 because it leaves the hair nice and soft. Will this clarifying shampoo be back in stock? Yes, they're working on it today. So I'm still using warm water. I'm 
we ready? All right, so we're gonna squeeze out the excess water. And then we're also gonna towel dry her before we apply the um, Repair RX protein, which is step one. Sit up for me. The gummies, the only thing we have is the, the, double, the double pack. Someone asked which product is good for color treated hair. Um, you can use any one of our shampoos. All of our shampoos are sulfate free. Um, it's really not dependent on if you're color treated. It's more like what's your porosity, if you're natural or relaxed. That'll kind of give us an idea of what direction you need to go. But all of our shampoos are sulfate free, which is really what matters for color. Someone asked, is the hooded dryer required to use the Repair RX routine? Yes, you need to have a hooded dryer. I mean, if you have that blow dry cap attachment, you can use that too, but that thing is super hot. I don't like those. All right, so she's gonna go under the dryer. All right, I'm gonna go over to the dryer for me. You're not going to put a cap on, and she'll go under for about 15 minutes. If you have a high, come on to the shampoo bottle. If you have a higher density um, of hair or greater density of hair, then um, it might take you about 20, 20 to 25 minutes. But really what you want is for the product to dry on the hair. That's what you're working for, the product to dry on the hair. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, lean forward for me, and um, shampoo my client who we did the relaxer on. Of course, we're gonna use warm water. Come on. Singing? Sting? Yeah. Sorry. So you just gotta sit there and just... I'm shy. You're trying to be nice, but if you don't tell me, come on back, how would I know? We'll get through it. Is it just the front? Um, yeah. I figured. It's really fine over there. More like the hairline? Uh -huh. You know how I could tell that you were burning? Okay, take a while yet. My face? No, you were swinging the chair. Oh. I can tell, I can read. You're swinging the chair or you're tapping your foot, but you're silent. And I'm like, yeah, you're burning. Don't bother tell me. <laughs> I'm watching you swing the chair. I'm like, okay. Push back in the bowl. The back wasn't burning. Mm -mm. Y'all know what I say about relaxers. Like, we're gonna sit there, like, it's okay. It's okay. I just want it to be straight. <laughs> I just want it to be straight. Trust me, even as a hairstylist, you guys, I'm guilty of it. When I go to get my hair cut and I go to get my hair styled by Tina and she gives me a relaxer, I will literally go to the bathroom if I have to so I won't want to wash that relaxer out. Because I know that I need my hair to be straight. So I'm, it's not a thing, like, everybody does it. Head back for me, Head back. Head to the back. Uh, I don't know when to say the B7 will be back, but what you can do is if you go to our website and hit the little chat box, 
you can ask about stock and it will put you in queue for that product to get notified when it's back in stock. All right, so we're gonna put her conditioner on. Oh no, that's not conditioner, that's normalizer. Whoops. Why did I say substance? Oh no, it didn't. I didn't read. relaxer like that's not good that thing gotta be rinsed so this is the conditioner I am not scrubbing her scalp I'm literally just rubbing the conditioner on her hair and scalp It'll sit for like a minute or a couple minutes, but not very long. to where it's natural then yeah it's the same thing if it broke to the point of the natural line then yeah you're natural now you might have some relaxed hair laying around but technically yeah I'm just rinsing off the conditioner. And then I'm just going to start normalizing her, which will do two normalizers. Okay, I don't cut this nail.
so your hair looks so silky and beautiful. Your relaxer. Before, that before and after. Man, huge difference, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Amina to my normalizer. This is the second normalizer. The reason why I like to add a little bit of shampoo here is to take away that normalizer relaxer smell from the hair. The world doesn't need to know you just got a relaxer. It can look like it, but not smell like it. When I took out my tape-ins, my son said, Mommy, are you gonna get your hair done before Christmas? Oh, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> he's four. And you well, know he sure knows the difference. <laughs> I'm in a safe, a safe area, so anything that's within the area of the salon, then you're fine. And this is a, a good, a, a great area, actually. But I mean, you can also Google, look at some hotels in the area, see what their star rating is. But this area is actually a really good area. So stay within Altamont Springs. Or stay by the airport and just drive on over. answer that question for you babe I don't know technically you shouldn't be relaxing your hair or texturizing your own hair so I would definitely say seek a professional and they can answer that question for you is that better I have to give her a cool a cool shampoo rinse because she's just about to jump out of the chair so we're gonna use just a little bit of moist me 24 karat mask just to rehydrate and soften her hair even though we condition before we normalize, remember normalizer is a shampoo. So it can make the hair feel hard sometimes. So how you combat that is you just add a little bit of conditioner at the end, lightly detangle, toss up a little bit for me. And then rinse with cool water and that's it. Come on back. I mean, you can lodge a complaint with the cosmetology board. I mean, if they really overprocess your hair, you can file a small claim suit, but you have to show proof that they overprocessed your hair. So, I mean, I would definitely take pictures and video at that very moment. Um, if you've already reached out to the stylist, I'm one of those people reach out in writing and state your point like, hey, you know, my hair was severely overprocessed blah, 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 in writing, and if they don't really care, then you gotta do what you gotta do, but definitely, um, I'd start the, the way of reaching out in writing and asking for some form of rect rect rectifying the situation and then take it from there, but you can go to civil court. I mean, filing a complaint with, with the cosmetology board in Florida is really nothing, but it, is, it might be taken more serious in other states. That's, you know, that's kind of my really, my recommendations. I, I see a lot of people on people's court for stuff like that. So I, I think like the people's court way, take pictures, video and everything in writing and then file suit. Because once your hair is over processed, you can't get it back. You have to either cut it off or allow it to grow out and cut it off. So, all right, so we're gonna spray a little bit of Hydra Strength Leave-In Spray on her hair. 
And then I'm going to spray some H2 Pro Thermal Blow Dry Spray on her hair. Okay, let me take off this part of the cape here. And then we're gonna comb her down for her to go under the dryer and dry. No, this is just a wide tooth comb. I don't even know where this name this comb is from. But any wide tooth hard comb, not those little cheap flimsy ones that they sell at the beauty supply for a dollar. These really thick wide tooth combs, these work really well. Um, we had the Elite wide tooth comb, which we're finally sold out of. And I don't know if I'm gonna bring it back. Um, it took me so long to get rid of all those combs. But yeah. Wide tooth comb anywhere as long as it's a nice quality wide tooth comb. I'll try to find one and put it in the Amazon store. Eco Tools makes a good one. Okay, mom. Go ahead and go to the dryer. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse my client who had the protein treatment. So I'm gonna show you guys the next step to the protein treatment. So right now her hair is kind of hard or crispy. Um, let me show you guys, hard and crispy, not in a bad way, okay? Um, that is what the protein is supposed to do. It's supposed to bind up the hair. At this point, you're gonna use warm water very important, warm water. And you're gonna make sure that you rinse and thoroughly rinse her hair, because remember, this is dried protein on her hair. So you guys just see, I'm not just rinsing her hair down and then I'm done. I'm really making sure that I feel the hair to make sure that I don't feel any product on her hair to make sure that I'm getting all of that protein off so that I can hydrate her and condition her. So the protein is the actual treatment, but this is why I tell you guys, do not skip the Elite um, Repair RX Hydrate. It's a very important step. Is it safe to do protein treatment on locks? Absolutely. And don't forget, you guys, the 1150 sale is still going on. It's on our body care site. It's on our hair care site. So that sale is going to go through January 1st at 1159 p.m. We have some other things that we'll be doing on sale as well. Um, Christmas Day, we'll have a bonus sale on Christmas Day. So you don't want to miss that one. Hint, hint, it's about the serums. And hint, hint, it'll be a price you'll never get the serums for. That's a Christmas Day sale. Mm. Um we got a couple things under our sleeve in conjunction with what's already going on. Okay. 
Okay, so right now she has the hydrate on her hair. She is relaxed. So I can leave her to process the way she is now without a cap. Now, if you're low porosity, you do need to put on a processing cap and go under the dryer for at least five to 10 minutes, at least. So a minimum of five to 10 minutes. And that is gonna help to open that cuticle, rehydrate the hair. Remember, protein is very drying, but it's not in a bad way, in a good way. Good morning, Crystal. Do you think it's okay to wash and blow dry hair two times a week for four type hair? Absolutely not. That is way too much. And you're gonna end up with extremely dehydrated hair, which I'm probably thinking you have dehydrated hair now. All right, so we're gonna use cool water. Now I wanna show you guys my comb here. She does still have a couple strands, you guys. Naturally, you're supposed to have a couple strands, okay? It's not a, oh, I'm not gonna have one strand of hair missing <laughs> off my head. That's not how it works. Naturally, you shed every time you manipulate your hair. Now, should it be excessive? No, no. Now I'm rinsing her for her final rinse. I am using cool water, okay? This is the final conditioner rinse. So when you're rinsing your hydrate, which is your number two or step two, you wanna use cool water. Especially for my low porosity people, if you went under that dryer, you definitely need to make sure, definitely need to make sure that you rinse with cool water. You don't use your hair mask as a deep conditioner. Yes, but I'm not doing a hair mask. I'm doing a protein. The protein has its own system. So this is the Repair RX step one. This is step two. The reason why they look the same is because guess what? They are a system. You need to use both. So I'm not gonna use my masks as the conditioner. I'm gonna use the conditioner that goes with the protein treatment. Okay, so you're gonna sit up for me and we're gonna towel dry her hair. Remember towel drying is extremely important. Okay, you wanna make sure that you towel dry so that your leave-in conditioner can actually bind to the hair. You don't want your hair dripping with water. I did a porosity test with several hairs. Some went to the bottom, others went to the bottom. I'm now more confused. Don't be more confused, you use too many strands of hair. Why did you use so many strands of hair? You confused yourself. Use one, two strands of hair, that's it. You can even use three. When whatever the majority of the three does is what you're gonna go by. Because if you take strands from different parts of your head, you're gonna get different porosities. Sick back from the middle. You just you did too much. That's what confused you. So do the test again on clean hair and only use about three strands of hair. That's it. <laughs> I used a little bit of the Hydra Strength Leave-In Spray for her hair. Okay, and then I'm gonna spray some of the H2 Pro Thermal Blow Dry Heat Protectant. Okay. And then she's gonna go under the dryer as well. So all I'm gonna do is part her hair out. She has a bob, so she's bobbing. So we're gonna bob her out. She's like, I'm more confused. <laughs> I would be too, you use all that hair, of course. But it's good to be honest, I'm glad you were honest. But do the test with um, not so much hair. And do it from the same area. So if you're gonna do it for one half of your head, do the porosity test for that one half. If you take strands from all over the head, it is definitely gonna confuse you because you can be low porosity up here, you can be high porosity back here. Or you might have relaxed your, your leave out if you do a lot of, um, styles or protective styles or not so protective styles so if you have that then of course you're going to be um different porosities no foam um i mean if you choose to use foam you can but i don't put foam on all of my clients because i i like i don't really need to now if it's a client where their hairline definitely needs to be relaxed then i might use the wrap foam just to kind of hold them down a little bit but 
To be honest, you don't have to put foam on everybody. Okay, my love. I'm gonna go back to the dryer here. Alright you guys, so let me bring you guys over to my chair. I'm actually going to practice, try something out. I was working on it. Um, what day was I working on this? Yesterday and this morning. So I'm trying to see if something that I did works. I was messing around with our... Um, our order system so I did some new prompts in there and I want to see if it's actually working it from here this is how i test everything you guys when i hit contact us all right good so it brings you here report an issue i'm going to use an order that i did that actually had a product on it i think it was this one this one report an issue what's wrong with your order some items are missing from my order there we go i click that it sends that so i'm going to log into my little my i call it my hood email See if it works. This is my my incognito email, where I um try to see if I get any type of um. Oh no, that's the wrong one, honey. We add another account. people I'm looking for my password so this is how I test to see if everything that I've done works oh that's bad okay save that okay not now all right so I put in the 
reporting issue, report request sent. So then it should come here. But I think it actually goes to the promotions tab for some reason or another. Come on, child. Still not doing what I need it to do. All of my emails definitely are going to spam me. Anyway. That's how I test out to see what works, what doesn't, what I need to fix, what I don't need to fix. So definitely this is one. I gotta go back and have a whole conversation with these people all over again. That drives me nuts. Oh, okay. Alright, good. Also, you guys, I forgot to tell you. So down here, this is what I always tell people. We call it the chat bot, right? So I'm going to show you guys what I mean by chat bot. If you come on the site and you click this little button right here, it brings you here to where we say elite customer support. And then we have something called quick answers. And then you can also manage your order, which will bring you to the contact page. Here, if you said I have a damaged order or something is missing, it gives you an automated message right away and telling you to complete a claim form now so that you can get all of that done and it takes you here. Let's say um, if you need more help, you say no. And it says, I'm sorry to hear that you, well, I said yes, but I'm sorry to hear that an agent will be with you in a few minutes, whatever, whatever. If you say you need to book an appointment, same thing. It brings you here. It tells you to book an appointment and it brings you to my booking site. So we're going to add one for those of you that need product recommendations where it will bring you to this quiz. A lot of you don't know that we have a quiz here. What products do I need is what it's called. It says take a free hair care consult quiz to receive hair care products best for your hair care needs. Right now it's only four questions. I'm going to update the questions soon. You'll put your name because this was done when we had less product. I think I'll just use that name and see what it says. Then leave us your email. Um, uh, not my email. Please to meet you, Crystal. Are you natural or relaxed? I'm going to say I'm relaxed. What is your biggest struggle? Dry and brittle hair, alopecia and balding, thinning or breaking, my hair isn't growing. I'm gonna say my hair isn't growing. Your results are in, and then it tells you what products or bundles it will recommend. Typically, it's gonna bring you more to the bundle kits because the bundle kit will give you all of the products rather than us giving you one product at a time. You can retake the quiz as many times as you want, uh, we're going to be adding in the other bundles like B7, all those different products in there. So it'll be a little more extensive. And then you'll be able to get answers without waiting for a hair care Q&A. So all you got to do is hit what products do I need quiz. Or if you scroll down, if you scroll down here, it also says take the quiz. If you click this, it brings you to the same quiz. Automation is always good. I know I've missed a billion questions. Oh, Jesus. Let me see your billions of questions that I missed. Did you get the question about the t-shirt time? Somebody said, I believe in towels. What are your thoughts on t-shirt drying? I mean, if you want to use a t-shirt, go ahead. It's just cotton. That'll make a difference. 
don't know. I feel, I feel like people be coming up with. It's just cotton. It's cotton. What's the difference? Some t-shirts aren't even cotton. If you want to use it, go ahead. I mean, you can use whatever. You can use paper towel if you want. That's, that's cotton too. To toilet paper, you can do that too. Me personally, I, I need a towel. I, I want a towel. Oh, that's my idea. Someone asked what you can do for excessive shedding. So today is the shedding day. What is my response for excessive shedding, you guys? What do you do when your hair is shedding? What product do you use? You should already know. A protein. A protein. A protein. Absolutely. Thank you, Crystal Phelps. Are you in any relation to Michael Phelps? I have a lot of famous people on my thing, you know. I have Paul Allen Cook the third, the second, I'm sorry, the second. And then I have Grace Kennedy, and now I have Crystal Phelps, who is related. You really are! Can, can you call him? So you really are related to Michael? In what way? <laughs> Hello. Hello, beautiful. How are you? How are you doing, my dear? Good. Oh, Good night. She changed up here. Yeah, just a so week. All right, what are we doing today? The same thing. We're going on these bags. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That's not what's on the cookie bag, eh? That's not what it is. Oh, because I was going to say, woo! This cookie is not what's on the bag. Ooh! I got gifts. Y'all can't get none. The Swiss Ooh, these are cookies. Yeah. Thank you so much! I cannot complain. My clients come bearing gifts. <laughs> All right, so we are doing our norm. Yes. Right, good. One here, two, the same one. Yeah. But you know what? I have from the last time, and I bought a new one because I don't know. Even enough, so. Yeah, I use. I use what I can from the old one, and then I use the new one. You know the color Yeah, that's the important. All right, good. All right, you guys. So we're gonna do an alopecia weaving service. You guys know my my famous clients. Everybody knows her. She's a star. All of my clients seem to be stars because you guys just know each and every one of them as they come. What did she just do last week? You're not relaxing today, right? Are no. You no? <laughs> okay, you did it. All right, good. Thank you, Mary Gibbs. Miss Mary, I will send you more than cookies, honey. You, you looked out for the girl. I will send you way more than cookies. <laughs> All right, so my client gets an alopecia weaving service. So what we're going to do is we're going to wash her and we're going to color her in which she gets a 99J slash burgundy color um, for her hair. Fabulous, by the way. She's just fabulous. You cut it down as well, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> when did you do the relaxing? Yesterday. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick rinse. Yeah. Alright, so I'm actually going to use a different color on her because we do burgundy in her hair. And her hair takes the color really well. one that you can use so remember when I was telling you guys about the biggin or Bayesian or however they want to pronounce it slide down there you go um, the Bayesian colors um, this is their semi-permanent which is nice and thick but I love their burgundy shades um, specifically for my clients I use a, a mixture of crimson and burgundy so you can use this color as well now for some of you it might not give you enough coverage 
um, if you have very resistant gray, but she is relaxed and she's fine textured, so it actually colors really well. Now, she relaxed yesterday, which you guys know I do not recommend relaxing at home, but she does it anyway, okay? She doesn't listen to me. <laughs> so I am going to just give her a quick rinse so that I can start the binding or the, the chemistry process. And when I say chemistry process, I'm gonna give her literally a very light shampoo. So I'm gonna use about that much of the B7 shampoo on her. Okay, that's it. So all I'm doing is just creating what we call those anchoring sites because her hair is dry. Now I could have easily put the color on her dry, but remember, I do not start on someone else's canvas. I want to make sure that my client's hair is thoroughly washed to my liking so I can ensure my work. Come on back. All right, so I'm not going to condition her. I'm not going to condition her. I'm just going to towel dry her now so that I can apply her color. And that's it. Sit up for me. So I want to make sure that I towel dry her really well. Okay. If you want, even if you, if you really want your color to adhere really well, you can even blow dry, but I don't like to blow dry. I can just towel dry. Does either one of you have your, your, your thing on? I'm, I'm trying to read this comment and I can't. I love, love, love the Biggin or Beijing. You guys know I can never say the name. Um, but I love their red or their crimson and I love their burgundy. So I mix the two together. It's not super thick, but it's thick enough for what I'm doing. All right, mama, chin down for me. And their color doesn't stain the, the scalp. It, it really just grabs onto the hair, but that's all. Oh, thank you. You said Bella? Uh, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. Oh, thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you. Hey, I'm hot. Thank you. <laughs> so this way. Oh, we're like, you know, this was a wig that we actually sold. This was the Selena wig, you guys. I just cut it. And I never really brought them back. But this was the Selena. So if you guys ever remember, if you remember in the comments, put a one. We had a wig called Selena, like I believe, believe I'm about Selena, remember? I remember her hair was nice and curly and the wig reminded me of her curls, so I named the wig Selena. And all I did was I got a second one and I cut it into a bob, that's it. I didn't have to change the density, I didn't do nothing. And I'm not real wig savvy either, so this was really good for me. And I've had this wig for over almost two years now, maybe longer than that. Um, well, with gray, it lasts until the gray grows out or it fades. So this is not, this is a semi-permanent color. Someone says, can I do another color dye with semi-permanent if I was permanent black dye? I don't know. Absolutely. Honestly, I would never use black as a permanent color. Black is a stain. The only time I would do like a, a, a demi-permanent black or a permanent black is, is if my hair is super resistant to semi-permanent gray, gray color. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. Someone said bring Selena back. Bring Selena back. One, I shall. <laughs> if I get enough ones in the chat, I will put Selena up today. Huh? 
Okay, so if I if I if I get enough ones, I'll put Selena back on today and I'll put her on sale. Why not? <laughs> Twelve so far, thirteen. Well geez, y'all didn't waste no time. All right, all right. Y'all give me a second. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go take her out of the archives and put her on. She's not hard to get. So definitely. But remember, Selena comes long and you just cut it into an asymmetrical bob, which is all I did, you guys. I didn't do nothing. I used a razor and I'm done. Yeah, well, one's going all down. That was so funny. <laughs> just sit still, okay? <laughs> give me one second, you guys. I'm going to put Selena on. Hold on. Hold on, hold that thought. I'll put Selena on and then I will put a link into the link tree for you. So Demi and Demi permanent Yes, Demi permanent requires an activator or a developer. Semi permanent is straight from the bottle or the tube directly onto the hair. Someone asked the color burgundy. That is burgundy, yes. I use the brighter color on her because remember her hair is dark. So it's gonna come out still dark. So I use a little bit lighter so that when I do rinse her out, it'll be the color that her weave is. So that's Selena that you have on. This is Selena. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and all I did was, Selena's been sitting in a mesh bag. Oh. In my bathroom, under the sink, probably collecting all kind of carroaches under there. I don't know what was in there. I literally took a paddle brush. Give me one second. I took a paddle brush and brushed her out. She shed like a dog. And I ain't washed this thing in a long time. And I just brushed her out. And then I used the same paddle brush after I cleaned out all her hair. Put this paddle brush under the water. And then laid her on the counter and just brushed her through with water. I took a little bit of Elite Silk Wrap Foam and then I scrunched it. So that is how her curls have stayed this way. And then I just kind of put her on my head and we done. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm Spanish today. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I'm still eating. I'll be dee 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 bamba. <laughs> bamba. Yeah. Okay. So I can't work with it in my face, though. So that's why it's pinned up like that. Can we, let me, let me add Selena so people can. Can Demi be used Stop the same me. day as you get a relaxer? Can De I don't recommend doing a Demi color the same day as a relaxer, which is the reason why I've had the hunt of semi-permanent color. Because what I've noticed as a stylist, you got to be able to take accountability. I used to relax my clients and do a, a demi color on the same day because it gives great coverage. But down the road, months later, weeks later, whatever, I start noticing that they shed a lot more. Because a demi color has an activator. It has a small amount of peroxide. They don't go together with relaxer. So that is why I've gotten away from using demi colors and relaxer. I try my hardest to not let the two mix at any point. So I have one client that her hair is super resistant, but we space her relaxers out about every 12 to 14 weeks, and I do a demi color, I dead smack in the middle, so she has new growth by the time I get to her next relaxer. And she's short. Yeah. Now y'all got me forgetting. I gotta go search for the thing. Someone said they're gonna go buy it and bring it to you to cut it. Oh, I wish you could bring it to me to cut it. I don't cut wigs, honey. I'm just playing. You can bring Selena. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I love her. And the density is 130%. Um, percent. So it's not super thick. Because guess what? When it's dry, it gets big. It gets bigger. So when I left the house this morning, it was nice and flat and wet. And then it just kind of did this after I put the wrap foam on it. So it keeps it, if you want to touch it, it kind of keeps it crunchy, but not crunchy. Yeah. yeah. And it keeps the curl, so now the curl won't go anywhere because I used some wrap foam on it. Mm-hmm. Follow me. Wanna just follow me? Yeah. Wanna just follow me? Yeah. Oh my. Do you use semi permanent and relaxer the same day? I do. That I do. That I do. What is best for natural hair, demi or semi? Semi. Good question. What is best for natural hair? Semi-permanent. Unfortunately, I think Selena is not available anymore. I'm sorry, you guys. I wear all the time. Huh? As my hair gets bigger and bigger, I put my hat on. Oh, really? So when it's time for me to wash hair, I take it off and I come here. And then as soon as I need to wash it, then I wash it and put it back on. 
it's on side of the legs. I try to um, use a flat iron and a solid uh, air dry. Mm -hmm. And then uh -uh. Um, put my oils and serums and stuff, slick it back. And when I go outside the house, I put my wig on. So I'm always ready. Always ready. Mm -hmm. But there ain't no hair done. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, you guys. No, she's not available anymore. I can't give her to you. I'm so sorry, you guys. That vendor's not even offering that unit anymore. That sucks. And I love that one. So I'm not going to offer you guys one that I have not tried. Why is my Alexa responding to your live? Because I said, Alexa. <laughs> and everybody's Alexa kicks in. I'm sorry guys, I can't offer you the unit now because unfortunately I have to try out the other vendors before I'm gonna put my name on something. So that particular vendor doesn't have this unit available any longer. I don't know why. And it's a really nice unit. Where did I get my blouse? Fashion over. I don't buy expensive things anymore. And it was on sale. I love anything that says sale on it. So fashion over. So I'm gonna ask which hair cell are you gonna draw on your hair? I don't know who's there. I think maybe because remember earlier you said you're getting hair done Friday. Oh, you know my usual. You guys know I don't I don't I'm not real extra you know. I'm getting a haircut. I'm gonna color the front of my hair back red. I'm over the brown, it's boring. So I'm gonna color it red. That's boring though. I'm bored with it. Every time I look at it now, I'm like, nah, this just looks stupid. I'm just like, and it, it just looks like, it just don't look healthy. Like it just looks, and colors can do that. Colors can make your hair look unhealthy even when it's healthy. So like, it looks trashy. It makes my hair look trashy. So I don't really have to blow dry her. I'm more than using the blow dryer to take out the pink and to soften her hair up so that we can style her uh, and also trim her. Which is a good thing because when she comes in to get her tapings, her trim won't, her hair won't be so blunt in, um, in cut. That's another thing. It's kind of hard to do tapings the same day as a relaxer because your trim makes your hair blunt. Would I be able to do ombre color? Um, I wouldn't say right now. Okay. The most I would say you could do is maybe a couple highlights in the crown, just okay. to kind of test out to see, you know, how you care for it, if your hair can withstand it. But ombre okay. can be a lot. Okay. And then you're fine textured. So ombre is going to give you the appearance that your hair is even more spacey. Oh, okay. Like, if your hair was, like, really dense, Ombres work for dense hair. It doesn't work so well for fine textured hair. Okay. Because the color is it's a high color. So remember, the darker the color, the fuller you look. Oh. The lighter the color, the finer you look. Okay. Makes You're sense. already fine. So it's like mm -hmm. I'm taking you backwards. Yeah, makes sense. But there's other color options that you can have. You don't necessarily have to do a whole head of ombre. You can do some just like in the crown. The crown will give you the appearance that you got a ton of color. Mm -hmm. um, a couple highlights here or there can do that until we kind of like get your hair 100% where I'm not going to say it's fuller because you're fine textured so that's just what you have but mm -hmm. it's in a healthier state and it's okay. not shedding like it was before okay perfect <clears throat> you can even highlight some of your tape in too if you want to try it out yeah that gives you the ability to see what the color will look like. Mm -hmm. And just add a couple streaks to it. Just so it still looks natural, but mm -hmm. you can apply those highlighted ones in the top. Okay. So it'll give you the look of that color and you can see what colors you like, what colors you don't like. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Sure. 
Why y'all gotta start with? I got a question. Let's ask the question. <laughs> You're here. Um, the pomade colors in sight. Like the wax, cause waxes mm -hmm. and stuff. Like um, if you don't want to color your like, like you're getting bored with the. I'm just getting bored with this, but I don't want to mess with the little pieces of gray that I have in here. I mean, it's still gonna tint them. Yeah, but then it'll come back. I won't have to worry about it not being white. Not necessarily, because some of those pomades are really strong, so they're mm -hmm. like stains. It's still a stain on a white piece of hair. Oh. So it does. It's not a guarantee that it's just gonna just dissipate. It's a wax, number one, but it's a pigmented wax, number two. So just think about that when you're going to do it. But nothing tried, nothing done. You're not going to know if you're going to do it or not. So you got to try it first. Mm. I mean, I've seen people do it. You know, if you don't have a plan of, like, going lighter, per se, mm -hmm. then it won't hurt. It's not going to do anything. Then try it. If, it. if it stays, okay, great. Just put a black one on it. Same thing. But those are good temporary ways of, of trying things out. Oh, oh. Yeah. I've never heard of it. I've My seen them. They, they have them in Sally's and stuff. Like, yeah, I was going to try because I was like, I don't want something new for Tony Breeze. Like, don't you dare because I don't want to really complain about that small patch of white you're trying to keep white. That's why I haven't colored my hair since 2013. Because mm. once it started coming in, I thought I was going to start getting all my whites. Mm. It's because I want it. It's why you actually here. want white? Yeah. And last night I had a whole condition. I got like 20 of them going across Girl, my face. Get some. And because oh. I it, it won't come. Now all my peers, to include my brother, everyone has white and color color it. Mm, that's yeah, nice. Get no white. That's real different. That's here you so are trying different. to color yours, and here she is asking for some. That's real special. <laughs> mm, Y'all are real different, honey. About seven years ago to stop um, coloring on here. It looks so pretty. I'm not jealous of her in my thing. Uh, you sound nice. a little jealous. Just a little. <laughs> I mean, it's like white, white. It's so pretty. You want it curly or straight? Straight. Okay. Yeah. It looks nice when it's all over, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, even she's got a little patches, um, but it looks so pretty. And I told her, I said, I feel like it makes you look younger now. Yeah. Right? So it and did especially that, uh, when the hairdressers put like the like a light blue or type of thing in it. Like a red blue. Oh, yeah, it's so pretty. Because when you already have all that gray in it. <laughs> so gorgeous. So I could have gray line alone. I'm just going in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the front it comes up. Not even the front. It's just right here. I got to like do certain parts so you can see it. Yeah, yeah I don't even see it. I don't see it's it. It's a girl, isn't it? It's platinum white. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. You, I'm surprised that wasn't. I haven't got because I've all the ones I have now are just like you said, crystal hair, but it's that regular color, mm -hmm. you know. But I, I think that's what I'm gonna do for 23. Thank you, girl. Come out with a <laughs> old. To all be a nice platinum one. <laughs> mm. I'm using the H2 Pro 1 inch black diamond ceramic iron to curl her hair. Um, you kind of have a couple alternatives when you're doing this. So if you're fine textured, always remember your biggest thing is the illusion of fullness. That is the one thing that we want so bad that we just cannot have. So how you give yourself the illusion of fullness is you curl the hair tighter and then you wrap it and comb it down from there. That gives you the appearance that you have a little more density. Now, is this a permanent fix? No, there's never going to be a permanent, I'm gonna be full. So for those of you that are fine textured and you're still wondering how to get your hair thick, I am here to tell you that that is not happening. That's not how it works. Because if you had the same amount of hair and you were coarse textured, this would not be a conversation because you wouldn't be able to comb through your hair. So everything for fine textured hair is an illusion. That, that's how we work with our hair. You get the illusion of something. Okay. I have a couple of questions. Sure. Um, my mom says she wants to get a short style and relaxer. I don't know how to book it on your website. Would she need a consultation first? Uh, as long as your mom doesn't have any thinning or balding, 
and you don't necessarily have to book a consult. Um, to book that kind of service, you would... All right, let me back up. The way my book is broken down, it's based on what you need to achieve the style that you're asking for. So if your mom is relaxed and she would like to get a relaxer and cut or shortcut, then you're going to start in the relaxer section because she's already relaxed. If your mother is natural and she is deciding that she wants to get relaxed and now get a shortcut, then you're going to start in the natural section. And of course, at that point, you know, I'm going to go to a virgin relaxer cut and style. Now, if your mother has alopecia of some sort, but she has enough hair for coverage and she doesn't have a lot of balding, then you can do what we call um, the same thing, virgin relaxer cut and style. If she has alopecia, then you're gonna go into the alopecia section and you will do what we call a transformation style where it includes a color, a customized cut for alopecia clients, um, it includes basically everything that you need for her to get from point A to point Z. So that's how my book works. So whatever you are now is where you start. The only time there's an exclusion to that rule is if you're getting some form of lightning color, where you're changing your color in its entirety, then you always will start in the color section. Okay, next question. What does it mean when your hair is extremely dry and won't take a perm? What does it mean when your hair is extremely dry and won't take a relaxer? Okay, um, there's really no such thing. It just depends on who's doing the relaxer, what relaxer they're using. Um, if you're doing it yourself, then of course that might be a thing, but everybody can get a relaxer. It's just really the technique and what you use. So I definitely say find a stylist that that understands what you're trying to achieve. Let's see. I think that was it. Most people are saying good morning. How are you? They're asking about Grasshopper. Uh, Grace must have something to do today. That's probably why she's not on. She'll jump on at some point today. Your daughter's yesterday. Oh, girl. About you and your father coming in and saying, nope. <laughs> and your face not cracking. I'm like, well, which one is it? Does she know them or not? <laughs> Listen, I, I'm that type of person. <laughs> oh, it's so freaking funny. And I was tired, too. I was like, no, I got to see the end of this. <laughs> Listen, I do that to my kids all the time. Mm -hmm. I do. I always do that to my kids. I always tell them something real dumb. And then they would they look at me, are you being for real, mom? <laughs> <laughs> she said, in Jamaica, you can, that's what limited means. You cannot name your child Grace. <laughs> you know how they have Grace, Grace products. You ever had Grace, Grace like Grace hot sauce or something? And it's it's owned yeah. by Grace Kennedy Limited. I told them if it says limited, that means that it's illegal to use today. <laughs> and they were looking at me real stupid. And I was right there with them. I'm like, wait, wait, huh? No, that, that can't be right. <laughs> Listen, I told my kids that if there's a solar eclipse, <laughs> that they don't go to school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And they so believed dead. it. Listen, oh during the hurricane, God. I told my older daughter, I woke her up and I said, because we had a category four hurricane, that means that time goes back nine hours. And she went and Googled it. <laughs> She's like, really, mom? I said, yeah, go look. <laughs> you set those kids up. And it's so oh funny. God. It was funny. My kids, sometimes they be like laughing, and other times they're like, that's not funny, mom. <laughs> I was funny last night. I love playing jokes. She was eating, listen, she was eating that dumpling, so I'm, mm, and not a crack. Like, I'm like, no, I know I'm tired, but I don't think she's telling <laughs> 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 you gotta, You gotta play, you know? Yeah, you gotta be you funny. You made me for real, because I'm. If it wasn't for me to have to go and reach for the iPad to Google it, y'all like, really no be Googling me stuff. I don't know why y'all take uh, me serious. Uh, I don't know sometimes why people take me serious. You, <laughs> didn't, you didn't, you did not blink. You eating selfishly, but you was eating. The kids are like, no, no, you said that about me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, that was just me. Yeah, you know, she be talking, so she be talking. I don't think she right, but then when you took, go get the grace bottle. You ran the back of the grace bottle. I'm like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. People on there like you are so mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm dying. 
I took my daughter to the dentist to get an extraction, and I told her, I, I told the dentist we're going to use premium Embosol for $3 instead of numbing for her to get a two-fold because it's cheaper. <laughs> I go into the dentist's office. I even start asking the dental assistant. She started looking at me like, premium Embosol? I'm like, you don't know about that? You work here. <laughs> my daughter was looking like a deer in the headlight. <laughs> she thought I was that serious, too. Oh no! I kept it all the way going. Stop it! Someone said, hi, queen. I have always had very thick natural hair, but I have noticed that my hair is now finer and not so full. Is it possible to go from full to fine? Absolutely. You can go from full to fine with maturity. You can go from full to fine in five minutes of a hairstyle. So if it's over time, definitely you can go from full to fine. That means that your body's either maturing or your hair is maturing. Someone said that's the sister that had the long hair and the other pieces in her hair. Correct. Did she also have it cut? I'd be noticing people that come in. Um, did she have what cut? The extensions? I'm assuming you're talking about the extensions. No, she took them out, but we're going to do them again in January. She needed a relaxer. We already knew it was relaxer time. Um, we would have done the taping today, but honestly, I don't think I would have even had time to do it today because I have a full schedule. Um, but we're doing her relaxer today so that in January we'll do her, um, her tapings again. So she, you actually brought them inside, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's going to leave her tapings with me so that I can start adding the adhesive, get them prepared. I think we're going to do a couple highlights on it and then they'll be ready for her in January, which works out because you want to give your hair a break in between the relaxers. Of their hair smelled like um, Jolly Rancher because they used your products last night. Good. <laughs> I want it to smell like Jolly Ranchers. I want I want all of our products to make your hair smell like, mmm. Wow, what is that? It's a conversation piece now because people are wondering, like, what is in your hair? Especially your little light skinned colleagues, you know? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did you have those extensions? <laughs> Well, your hair grew overnight. That's the big one right there. Your hair grew overnight. All right, I made it a little fuller so that when you wrap it, you're not just dead. Okay, thank you. Because your hair going to go. By the time New Year's come, you got no curl left. Oh, yeah. I already know that. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Thank you. That's what we want. That is what we want. So that when she wraps her hair at night, her hair looks like she just got it done the next day and the next day. You gonna cover the cash on Cars. I always forget to stop at the bank. I don't do anything but spend cash faster, so it's fine. Do you think I need new hair? But then I got oh, to it. Oh my! Why do your hair look like a? I just took it out. I didn't do anything. I wet it. I wet the. I took the thing out. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, that's why, why I said. Why do you look like that though? I don't. You know I have what the textured thinking? hair. I don't have the red no, hair. No, no. Hold on, y'all. We gonna we gonna do a comparison here. <laughs> don't tell me. Mind you, no, these are the old dirty ones that I took out now. So these are the old ones that we took out that day after I washed her. Alexa, stop. 
Okay, this is the ones that I took out. It's not washed, they're not clean. All I did was take the tape off and put them away. These are the ones that she took out and brought in here. Now y'all do the math of which one looks different. Oh I didn't my. Push it. I know. Wow. That's what I was saying. And what did you put on? Why are they so oily? What you did to them? That was the C for 22. It was oh, all on my neck. Is. Oh. It was all okay. on my neck, my clothes. It ruined wow. my shirt. I said, never it again. It smelled like C22. It smelled yeah. like some type of um, WD 40 or something. Yeah. Spray it was here. just, it was horrible. I'll, I'll try to wash it and see what I can do. If not, I will just get a new set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Big difference. <laughs> Nice and greasy. This looks synthetic. <laughs> yeah, it does. this look human. <laughs> wow, we're just gonna set this over here. Yeah, that's that seat. And I'm I'm gonna I'll attempt to work on it today. This need help. We're just gonna set this back here. We're just gonna act like that didn't happen. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Next time I know to use just alcohol. Just a little bit of alcohol. That's all. Not not really much anything else. Oh, there you go. <laughs> like, Whoa, stop, I can't. That's intense. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's real intense. Oh, here. Can you grab one? Oh, oh. Thank you. Fabi, you grab one. <laughs> oh, thank you. So sweet. I can grab one. Oh, awesome. These are on your next appointment. Oh, big one? Mm -hmm. Each one, it's, it's kind of like a game. So some of them have free treatment. Some of them have free color. Oh, I like this. You know, just something fun. Oh, thank you. So I also, it was two games in one. So four cards, the whole thing was full. Four cards inside the bunch had a free flat iron in it. A free really? black diamond flat iron. Oh, so yesterday's client got the last one. The last one? Wow. Oh, man. So, and I need yeah. one. So they all got free, like four people got a free flat iron plus what was inside your card. Oh, cute. oh that's, that's nice. nice. Just trying to be fun. Make it fun. It ain't got to be this yes. little boring Christmas card. <laughs> Thank you You're so welcome. much. I'll, I'll see you in January. January. Happy Bye, holidays. Ladies. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> all right, so we're going to blow her out. So this is my client where we had to do a cut on her. That's how she ended up with a bob, but her hair is really doing well. It is thriving. So we're going to use our red plate, which is the Vivace iron, <clears throat> to curl her. Good morning. They love the new look. Oh, thank you. It's not really a new look, you know, guys. Don't don't get too used to this one. <laughs> it's called I'm the I just got tired of wearing that ball cap to work and looking like a little boy. <laughs> you know, I know I'm getting my hair done on Friday, but I could at least try. <laughs> it don't look good as a hairstylist. Every day I'm on YouTube with a cap on. <laughs> so I just wanted to look a little like something. That's all. And I wasn't even looking for this unit. <laughs> That's the crazy part. I saw this one and I'm like, okay, well, let's just do this. So do they use WD-40 to just... No, no. No, okay. This, the C twenty two smells like WD forty. Oh, okay. It has a lemon toxic smell. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody just asked me something. I was out. What Wait. is the blue plate iron called? The blue plate iron is the it's it's the elite one inch ceramic. That's the blue plate iron. The elite one inch ceramic. And then we have the elite one inch titanium. We also have the elite one and three fourths titanium and one and three fourths ceramic. So Wait, let's get this, out. this is the one and three fourths titanium, the one and three fourths ceramic. The plate is blue and it's the same size, same shell. The difference with those and the Vivace and the black diamond is the elite irons. Those are more at home friendly. They have automatic shutoffs on them. They are tempered to not be super hot like a salon flat iron would be. So the Salon flat irons, the black diamonds, the Vivace, they can get very hot. Even though their temperature settings are the same mm -hmm. as the, um, the signature irons, which is the elite irons, they're tempered a little bit different so that they're not over hot. Robin Boyles <clears throat> said, how do I carry your product in her salon? Robin, if you reach out to us um, by sending an inquiry, um, info at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Um, at that point, we can get you signed up as a distributor or wholesaler. But there are certain parameters that you have to meet to do so. Okay. Oh, is Sade off today? Oh, I just noticed. Sade is no longer with me, you guys. Oh, next. Sade is no longer here. Okay. Oh, Robin said thank you. You're welcome, Robin. Mary King says, you know you work wonders. Thank you, Mary. Oh, Deborah uh, Price says she didn't recognize you. <laughs> well, that's that's hairstyle. good, but that's bad. <laughs> that's good, but that's bad. She said it looks sexy. She know you know your beauty, and now your beauty is awesome. Happy holidays. Thank you. Can't believe Sunday is Christmas. I know, right? The year is over, and the year just started a week ago. I know. I swear, I feel like we were just celebrating New Year's. I feel like you're right. That's crazy. So who started using the Sebastian Shaper? If you started using Sebastian Shaper, put a one in the chat. That's not a product that I make. I've just been using that product a very long time. Stacy Chris said Sade was tired of being fined five dollars. I'm just gonna leave it right there. You're right. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into too much detail. That's enough. <laughs> but no, her last day was on Monday. <clears throat> so quite a few people are using the shaper, and some say they love it. It's great. It's nice and lightweight. It doesn't hold the hair down. You can still wrap your hair. It's a it's a good hairspray. I'm I'm trying to work on my own aerosol, but it's not like a a right now I gotta get it right now kind of thing. I've been using Sebastian Shaver for a long time. They need to just go ahead and just send me boxes of it because I think I sell a lot of their stuff. Wow. What is the correct temperature? temperature. Jr. Price asked um, for the flat irons. There's no way for me to tell you the correct temperature. The temperature is dependent on a couple of different variables, meaning the texture of your hair. Um, uh, texture really is probably the biggest thing. Um, the health of your hair, that plays a huge role in it as well. If your hair is super fragile, then you can't really do high heat. So, Your dad's birthday is tomorrow? Yes, it is. He just mentioned it. My father turns 70 tomorrow. Oh, he guys. told us to guess. <laughs> My father turns 70 tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday. She said, listen, you see how you messed him up? He said, if you can guess how old I'll be, you win a free trip to Jamaica. It'll be 70 tomorrow. <laughs> 70. Oh, that's 
so funny. Um, someone asks, do you have anything to loosen tight curls? My hair is shoulder length when slick silk press, but when wet with gel, it's up to my ears. I want to loosen my curls. The only way to loosen your curls is through a chemical process <coughs> called texturizing. Mm. There's nothing else that's going to loosen your curls. There's no product on the market that is not a chemical service that will do that. I was just joking, you guys. My, my dad's not going to be 70 tomorrow, just so everybody knows. <laughs> and then he said, good morning, my dear daughter. Oh, father. <laughs> he sounds like my dad. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm like five. Yep. I'm not. When my mom calls me, no, oh, how's my pretty girl? Okay, ma. Like, uh, I have three kids, and I'm 36 years old. <laughs> that part. But okay. Some don't have it, so I'm grateful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That sound like I'm... Mm -hmm. Chris, um, you know, you're your dad's only daughter? Mm -mm. You're your dad's only daughter? Mm-mm, he has three daughters. Oh. I have a little sister. Oh, you sound like you, you know, like you're his favorite. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a little sister, that's Monique. Oh. And then I have another little sister, that's Brianna. Oh, oh. But I'm the oldest of all his kids. My dad is a Rolling Stone, you know. <laughs> but I got kids all in Japan. Uh-uh. I'm just, I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. <laughs> you I'm just playing. The disclaimer now? I'm just oh playing. God. I'm just playing. Papa was a rolling stone. I'm just oh playing, y'all. Oh, my God. Um, I'm just playing. My grandpa is a rolling stone, though. My father was a rolling stone. Oh my my dad's dad is a rolling stone. My dad got siblings. He don't even know. It could be the oh lady at the grocery store. That's my aunt. I don't even he know was such a aunt. handsome man. This. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Rolling stone. Man. Chase him. They don't care. They don't nope. care. It's even worse now. These women don't care about nothing. And he has such a sense of humor. The things even tell, oh my God, with these women, oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they all Too great funny. friends. Too funny. Crystal, you're great with or without an assistant. Great job. That's from Terry. Thank you, Terry. Well, I've been doing this a long time without an assistant, so I'm, I'm good, you guys. And I didn't Stacey change my Cooks, based on that. Hmm? We need no further info. We're just happy to be part of your salon life journey. That's right, Stacy Cooks. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> oh no, these people are out of control. I'm not reading well, that one, no Janelle. Really <laughs> Janelle nine one nine says, "I knew that wasn't going to work long term." Oh God. <laughs> Okay, Janelle. I wasn't. Uh, I've heard that too many times in the last two days. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, everyone's wishing that Pops a uh, happy birthday, happy birthday. Someone say happy 70th birthday. Merry, Merry Christmas. Yep. Happy early birthday. 70 years old. <laughs> My dad gonna call me and curse me out. <laughs> like, why are you telling people my age? Why are you telling people I'm turning 70? My dad's not turning 70, by the way, you guys. He's not even near 70 yet. <laughs> he's old, but he's not near 70. Oh my god. <laughs> Flat twist outs give the illusion of a loosened curl pattern. I, I couldn't tell you, lovey. I don't know. I don't do twist outs. Okay. I don't do um, textured styling. That's not my forte. This may be off topic, but is Moon Spice available on your site? It is not available just yet. Okay. Still waiting on um, the shipping company that we decided to use to one day call us and say it's on the way. Okay. Trust me, you guys, I would have loved for Moon Spice to be here so that you guys could get it before Christmas, but it didn't really work out that way. So, Renee asks, are any of your kids interested in doing hair yet? No. <laughs> they, you know, like Alex, she knows how to braid and stuff, but I don't think they want to do hair at all. It lasted longer than I thought. <laughs> Shut up, my kid. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna skip y'all comments See? about that. Yeah. I told you I was gonna skip it. Thank you guys. You got your writers. Don't I do. Don't about you. I do. Mm -hmm. they, they be in the background like, mm hmm. No. Hey, good morning. How are you? They respect you. How are you? Good. Hi. Merry Christmas, everybody. Same Merry to you, Christmas dear. You. Thank you. Just have a seat, Mom. Now, where's the young lady? Where's your Where's your other hand? She's no longer here. <gasps> uh -uh. Monday was her last day. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Tell them you're a nice person. I am a very nice person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me. I promise. Okay. It was nothing that I did. I don't. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh -huh. you're a good teacher. You have a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Now me, mm -hmm. she would have left the first day, but uh, oh god, you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Y'all see how I said it in a nice way? Like she's no longer here. Yes. Yes. This is because you're kind. You just, you yeah, know, you she leave is. things she's how they are. Here you go, Mom. And she's Look, so patient. If you have um, a tap, you're going to tap right here. If not, you'll insert it here, okay? Tap. Yep. Um, no, she, you know, she, she's a good person. It is what it is. But are you excited? Come on. You're not going to be here for the weekend. Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how you love me. You know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm saying, geez, you know, you're jumping up and down. You're going to be all right. You know, I don't know. I, I, I guess I am, but then it's like, okay, you know. It is what it is? Yeah, like. <laughs> like last year, we went to Boston for New Year's, but we were here for Christmas. Did right? you have snow when you were up there? Um, the flurry? Flurry? Yeah. No. I mean, real snow. No, 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 not. We had real cold, though. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Yeah. I'm sure you did. Canada and the Atlantic. You're going to get it. Nice. This, this, this year, the weather is very unusual. <laughs> what happened up there in Buffalo? What happened in Buffalo? Whoa. You didn't see the drop of like eight feet of snow? I'm sorry. I don't really watch up north news yet. I don't watch no news. <laughs> but I'm really you don't have to watch it there until I'm telling you. Yeah, there was what was happening. Yeah, I, I used to wake up with News 13 on, but you know, ever since COVID, like, I don't want to be depressed. Because they only have bad news. It's nothing good. bad, nothing, <laughs> nothing positive. True. COVID killed so a million true. people today. Wow. But you couldn't tell me that a man died up the street in a car accident? You couldn't tell me that part? You went all the way to Iran somewhere and talked to me. Come back to me. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not that person. Like, that. It'd be too much. Like, Anybody got time for that. And then they, they, they lead by fear. I'm not fighting yes. for that. I am having issues Before. with you and your website and wow. these orders. Wow. I just got to let you know. We're this having is issues ourselves. <laughs> so what is it that we're not doing right? So I, I try to order the um, Yeah, you know, you know, every time you try to order something, you have a problem. I mean, Why would you never is order it, nothing is it without me? issues? Is it, is it, is it, every is time it you go to order something, she yeah. always got it's an got, issue. Yes, it's got to be the, the, the operator. User error. User error. <laughs> Every time she go to order it's something, it's an issue. Now, I've got my first set of stuff. Okay. No problem. This time, three times it's telling me that my address don't match my card. <laughs> I don't have another address. That's the same address the card came on the last time. And is that the same now, card you uh, used before? Okay, are yes. you using shop pay or are you just using the type the card in? I just type the card in, the visa. Sometimes you can use, like, okay, so, like, some cards... Yeah. Not every time, but some websites, like if they update something on the processor, which we don't know because we're yeah. using a major platform Correct. processor. Correct. There could be an update on that processor, and then that processor doesn't read certain things anymore. So how you get around stuff like that, and it's not just us. You can use, like, some, some companies take PayPal, some companies take Amazon Pay, some companies take Shop Pay, which is Shopify Pay. Those are systems like PayPal. You ever heard of PayPal? Yes, but I don't. Okay, and I don't use PayPal either. Pay like but no, listen. So if you, let's say you use PayPal as the processor of the payment. Remember, PayPal has your card information, but they're processing it through their processor and they're just paying it on your behalf as okay. PayPal. Okay. 
So how we do that is like when I'm trying to use a certain card for a certain merchant. Let's say I'm ordering from this company called Bulk Apothecary. Okay. They don't recognize my McCoy Federal, McCoy Federal Bank card. It always comes back with an error. So then I'll use whatever external processor they have as a choice, Amazon Pay or PayPal, and then I will pay through them, even though I'm still paying the company. Yeah. But their processor will read my card with no problem. So in light of that, do you have an Amazon? I have Amazon, but I pay with my bank card. Okay. But do you have an Amazon? Yes, I do okay, have Amazon. Okay, so Amazon. there's an Prime, option. Prime with Amazon, does that make there, a difference? Well, it doesn't matter. As long as you, you use it Amazon. It goes too there, fast with Amazon. There's, an, there's an option that says it, use Amazon Pay. I just use it this week for that. Yeah, use it for that. You can use them. Yeah, and then you can still choose the same bank card, but okay. through yeah. your Amazon, and okay. Amazon is gonna charge you like Amazon, yeah. but they're gonna pay the transaction okay. for you. Okay. Yeah, All right. that's how you get around it with any merchant. I'm like, what? What? And then when I go back in, the, the gummies are gone. Yeah, Those gone. gummies go quick. Yeah, we only have the double pack now. I don't care. I will take it. So you use your Amazon Pay? Oh, my God! Because there's was some like, type of update that they made with your card. I can't wait to go over there on so I can tell her off about this. <laughs> Listen, no, it's see, not something we do. And it's not has nothing to do with you. See not how, a see, thing. See how I am so Not anxious. a thing. We pay them a good fee, <laughs> and they do whatever they got to do on there, and we have not a thing to do with it. Not it's a not. drop. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I can't even tell what you did. I was like, wait a minute, what? And, and and the thing I get emails from from your company saying, you know, you have stuff in your ca in your cart. Would you come back? You left it in the cart. I can't, I can't go further. But now I know I can use Amazon. Yeah, use your Amazon Pay, or okay. you can use Shop Pay. Well, the hair repair girl is there. All right. And uh, what else do I need here? All right, you guys. So in the meantime of her roasting me for something that was not my fault. I'm just cutting my client over here and minding my business. Okay, we're just giving her a shortcut. That's I still love you. You know, that's, that's, that's really all I'm doing over here. Just giving her a my, nice shortcut. Minding my business. I'm going to drink a little juice. Maybe not some water, but I'm going to drink a little juice and just mind my business. Let's just, let's just go for the coquito. It's all right. It's okay. Let's just go for the coquito. I got four gummies on the way. <laughs> really? The gummies can't stay in stock long enough. I don't know. No. And I think I'm ahead of the game when I order them. They just never can stay in it's stock. It's never, never enough. Uh -uh. It's never enough. Your clients are trying to keep you on your toes. <laughs> yeah, I see. You know, I, I get cursed out plenty of times. We keep here. her young and vivacious. <laughs> you got to be strong working here. <laughs> and have thick skin. Oh, very. <laughs> you see how she approached it? I need to talk to you about something anyway. <laughs> you know, when a person come with that, I mean, I'm about to curse you off. <laughs> You guys see that beautiful vibrancy in the fronts? Oh, I love it. I love color. If you guys don't know, I love color. I used to wear a lot of color. The colors they have now, I, I that was my past. That was I used your past? to have purple and uh, auburn and that same red. That was my last set of colors. Colors because then I used wow. to color my hair. Oh my gosh! In the eighties and nineties, what they do now. I've been there, done that. 
in there for me. All right, so we're gonna put some Super Growth Serum up here first to start the process. And then I'm gonna use a growth stimulator to help it to absorb. So if you guys notice, I'm parting her hair. If you have longer hair in that area, do not try to run this over that area. It is going to pluck the hairs because it is a micro needle. So what I do is I just part the area, hold it down with my finger, and then just kind of go through the area like that. Now, if it's super short or bald, you don't have to really worry about that part. Okay, and then if you guys notice, I always do it in the wet phase. So if I'm doing an alopecia weaving service on a client, I do it when the client is wet. So that while she's drying under the dryer, that area is absorbing, it's drying with it, all that good stuff. Just like that. Did it work? It's, it's, it's doing, and I'm looking at the other side now. So I'm adding more. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> hmm. okay. All right, so we're going to put an end paper up here in her crown. Remember, she has hair up here, so I always protect her hair up in the top. She does really well with her, with her um, install. She's super used to it now. Now she just can't go without. She said, "Come drop me off. I gotta get my hair done." <laughs> her daughters don't even come inside anymore. They used to come and, "Hey, how are you?" They don't even walk in here. <laughs> What are you looking for? I keep hearing you say sold out. <laughs> the hair repair balm is sold out. The balm out. is sold out. Yes. Yeah, that, that's sold out. We're going to make more, but they can't make it fast enough. Like, and we make two containers of that. That's a lot. It takes us two days to make that product. Wow. I'm gonna mold her on the sides in the back.
Don't move. All right, so she's gonna go under the dryer. All right, you guys. So we're gonna take my client over to the shampoo bowl. I think I'm gonna do a little toning today because she has some yellow going on. So let's head on over there. Long time in chat. We're going on vacation Saturday, really, Dad? That's right. She is making it work. I called it from the beginning. I knew that situation wasn't going to last. Good luck to her, though. Absolutely. Good luck to her, honey. No ill manner here. So we are going to be doing a silk press um, on my client, but I'm going to also tone out this yellow that she has going on in her gray. Um, I'm not going to do it the way that you guys are used to me doing it, though. I'm going to do it the pro way. You'll see exactly what I mean in just a moment. Finish all your Christmas shopping. Yeah, I didn't really do much. Got big stuff. That's it. And them kids want too much. I can't bother. <laughs> they want too much? Yeah. You know, one just been my, my oldest one, she's super vain. Clothes, shoes, and money, please. That's it. Okay, honey. She's to the point. Straight to the point, too. And she barely got any of that. I got her a pair of shoes. She loves Jordans and stuff. Mm -hmm. She's like Judy. You know, you think that he gave, he, he's the father of, of my children because they do things like him. <laughs> they ask for things like him. I think it's very odd. Uh -huh. Um, so like Adriana, she dresses like him, like she likes to dress like him. She likes expensive clothes and, you know, they collect certain Jordans and, you know, so I don't know. I mean, he's been in her life since she, she's what, 15 now? Since she was four years old, so. Oh, okay. So then that's dad. That is, that is their dad. They have their dad and they have their father. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually going to use Express Tones, which is a five-minute toner, um, to tone out that yellow that she has in her hair. Um, this is something that you can't really do it at home. So I'm just showing you guys on a professional tip um, how you are able to tone out yellow and gray. This is definitely a service that you can also ask for when you come into the salon. Well, in my salon, you can. Now, I don't know about everybody else's salon, but a silver or a stop the yellow toner is a part of the service menu now um, for my gray hair clients where I can tone out the, the, the yellow or try our best to tone it out because it's not everybody. Sometimes you need multiple toners. 
bougie on a budget. <laughs> That's my daughter, but it's not her budget. It's mine. No, once is hers is yours. Once yours is hers. For that's now. that's what they say. <laughs> she got in trouble the other day, so she's in a deficit right now. She <gasps> owes me money. I took every dollar she had. Oh my! Sit up for me. I think she had about a thousand dollars in her savings from over the years of her sales, mm -hmm. and she got in trouble and she gave up every shoe she had. She got two pairs <gasps> of shoes. She gave up every shoe and I took I took all the money because you want to be grown, right? You want to be grown? All right, good. Grown people pay grown bills. Uh oh. So I transferred all her money from her her bank account and I let her sit there and watch me do it. And I transferred it right to my credit card payment and her money is done. Now you gotta make that money back. And you're not getting it back. I paid my credit card bill. You gotta pay bills. That's life. You wanna be an adult? These are adult problems. Oh my goodness. Oh, I bet she won't do that again. I bet you she won't. She don't even have a door in her door. She don't even have a door. Ooh. She has a hingeless door. Her dad took it off. Hey. She's wearing a pair of sandals and a pair of chucks. That's what she got. And they match nothing. And I don't care. Whoop. Maybe no, in January no we'll think about it. you're a mean mom. No, she can say I'm a mean mom because you caused that on yourself. This has been since November, though. Okay. We've been, we, we had this since November, so okay. possibly for Christmas, I might, I might let her look like something. <laughs> you heard me? Let her. That's my stuff. You might. P words, they might. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want to be an adult, so these are adult issues you have. So we're getting there. We, we're getting her back to where she understands what happens. She understands what happens when you disobey us mm -hmm. or you do things that's inappropriate wow. you start losing stuff mm -hmm. may still box you up same time but you're still losing stuff <laughs> yes, <indeed. clears throat> there's consequences to everything absolutely baby. i told absolutely. her there's, there's consequences for every action you make yes ma'am all right so we're shampooing her with some elite clarify hey constance Okay, so I'm just cleaning her hair, cleaning her scalp really well. Absolutely, the life will teach her in a harder fashion. <laughs> she had ordered her first pair of Tory Burch sandals that she paid for with her own money. She was so proud of them. They came and they went right in the garbage. And I threw them right in the garbage. I don't care what you pay for them. Oh. You won't wear a nut, you won't wear a pair with me. So she couldn't send them back and get them. I'm not sending back nothing. That's what happens. You lose your stuff. You paid for it and I threw it away. I don't care about that. I don't care about none of that. Nope. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of... No, I'm not going to do the B7. She doesn't really need volume. That's not your problem right now. You have volume. It's more than enough. Let's see here. I'm going to get some more of this. I'm using some Moist Repair Shampoo.
All right. So we're gonna rinse her out. And then at this phase of the process, I'm gonna go ahead and do her toner. And then after her toner, I will condition her. Now, if she's getting a deep conditioning treatment, meaning you're gonna go under the dryer, then you would do that before you do the toner. And then you'd have to condition again after. All right, so I'm gonna towel dry her hair. Sit up for me. So if you guys can see, she has she doesn't have a ton of yellow, but I'm still gonna tone everything, okay? So it'll be nice and even. So on her ends, you might see a little yellow here and there, but yellowing is not a bad thing. That That's just nature. You can go out into the sun. You can blow dry too much. You can use a shampoo that has a tint to it. You can do anything and it will cause your hair to change color because you're white. It's just like when you wear white t-shirts, all of a sudden you're an attractive, <laughs> like a magnet to anything dirty. Yes, indeed, especially spaghetti sauce. Uh-huh. Ketchup. Every time. So remember, white hair, gray hair, same thing. So I'm gonna do a fast toner on her. Um, I actually did a diluted toner. So this is a violet toner, which violet removes yellow. But I, I um, diluted the toner with a little bit of clear so that it's not super violet. Okay, I don't wanna run the risk of her going purple and I don't need that much toning. So that's why I did um, a 50-50 clear and violet. Okay, so I have my toner mixed here. I'm actually gonna use my hands to put hers on because this is a five minute toner, you guys. If I use a bowl and brush and try to apply this, I'm gonna be super slow. So I just really want it to get to the areas where I'm definitely having that yellowing. And then this will process for up to five minutes. Alexa, Jones? set timer for five minutes. How are you? I'm on the hairdresser, under the dryer. So I'll call you back, okay? Okay, honey. All right. All right. Let me get this little bit out. So over the course of five minutes, you'll start noticing that this starts to get more and more purple. It's not going to get super purple because I diluted it with clear, but you'll start noticing that it starts to get darker and darker on her hair. That does not mean that her hair is getting darker. That is just the color molecules, the pigments developing, and then they start to develop onto the hair.
I have to learn your style of parenting, Crystal. <laughs> I need to learn a bunch of styles of parenting. I'm not the best parent, but I, I'm going to definitely do what I can. I don't want them to go through what, what, I, what I went through, or he don't want them to go through what he went through either, because trust me, life was not simple. And you're the reason why life was not simple, so you got to own it. Not listening to your parents, trying to grow up too fast. Hey, I wish I could go back to 18 right now. Right, right now. Sure, do things differently, that's for sure. What? You sure would do things no, I'm saying what? Like you right. <laughs> like I definitely would. I'd make so many other decisions. I think because I think at that time we think we knew it all. Oh yes. we were we were grown and you You're know, super we grown. You're an adult. No mother. You don't understand it's a different time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I always say I wish I could go back and live with my mother now. Okay. And not pay these bills. And not pay. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get it. My mom used to tell me, you gotta walk through the fire to see how it burns your feet. <laughs> and I'm bored. Why do I understand that now? <laughs> so, that time you think, oh, no fire to burn my feet. It's alright. I can do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Don't wake up one day. Yes, indeed. Well, tomorrow's your last day of working? Today. Uh, today. When are you leaving? Two. Today? No, I said two. Oh, I thought you said two. I'm like, wait a minute, no. <laughs> you gotta go home and get things ready. Girl, I'm not even near that part yet. <laughs> but this is also the reason why I wanted to, like, stop working a, a day or two before. Yes, yes. All right, I'm just sweeping up my hair here. Alexa, how much? Oh, never mind. Alexa, off. Okay, so if you guys see her hair now, it's purple. Can you guys tell? It's violet, like a purple. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys that it's not going to stay this way. Now, if I leave it longer, long enough, it will start to turn purple. Lean forward for me. And then come on back. Okay, so her hair is super purple. So we're going to rinse her off now with warm water and you're going to see that her hair will no longer be purple. Okay, 
Mm-hmm, that's how it works. So now I'm just normalizing her. It's so odd, but Crystal's middle name is Antoinette. My daughter's name is Antoinette. Then she said her sister is Monique, and my stepsister's name is Monique. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to rinse her off, condition her. So her hair will look kind of like a pearl, like a pearlescent. All right, we're gonna give her a little conditioner. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Moist Me 24 Karat Mask. This is just to rehydrate and soften her hair. I wonder what's with where Grace is, because guys haven't seen Grace on here all yet. I don't know. So we're gonna detangle her. And then we're going to use cool water to rinse her. Yeah, I know. That is cold. Your favorite part? Oh, yeah. Mm, okay. Almost there. All right. You're going to survive. I'll be fine. I will survive. <laughs> I will survive. <laughs> you guys, don't forget that, too. Our, our annual 1150 sale is going on. Okay, so all of our shampoos, conditioners, leave-in conditioners, and care products are $11.50, excluding the hair mask, excluding the tools, and excluding the bundle kits. So all of our individual products are on sale for $11.50. No code is needed. That includes our body care site as well. Sit up for me. I'm wait now. Grace, listen, Grace was not mad about the cook with me. She's probably out doing her last minute shopping because it's really busy out there. Or she could be lurking in the shadows and just not telling anyone. She likes to do that too. All right, so we're going to use a little bit of Amina strengthening leave-in conditioner. 
And then I'm gonna spray on some of our H2 Pro blow dry heat protectant. And we're going to rope twist her and put her under the dryer to dry. With a million dollars. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Come right now, too. <laughs> I think I'll be blessed with something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Pac. She's not mad. Pac is joking. Y'all don't believe me that Grace is her father and mother is the people who own Grace Kennedy? All right, good. Don't worry. Y'all let Grace sit there and fool y'all. Baby, if you look at it, everything in there is just like Burlington, but it's just higher price. I haven't been to Burlington in a while either. Mm -hmm. I tried to stay on the shopping since the first time. Yeah. Uh, too much pushing and shoving. Things on the floor. Mm -hmm. I can't take all that. Alright, you guys. Let's go over to my chair. I'm going to put my client's um, base on her hair for the crown to start to protect it. Right, come and see where Grace is at and why she's not here. I just DM'd her. Guess what I said? I said, Miss Kennedy, you okay? Oh, 
Let's see if she answers. If she don't answer, that means that she's out and about and she does not have her driver with her, with his, his code for her Wi-Fi, you know, her car. Shayla, you joined the Fetch fam last night? Look, let me go see what my Fetch is doing today. Aha, I'm at 212,690 points. So that could roughly translate into about $210 in gift cards if used properly. Thank you, Fatima. Yes, you guys, if you want to shop any of my websites, if you click the link in the description box, so close your chat, and the first link in the description box, when you hit more, that'll bring you to all of my links, my Fetch, my Amazon store, my body care site, Elite Hair Care Canada, who's having a sale right now, Elite Hair Care Europe, um, contact us form, um, our flat irons, Elite Hair Care USA, it'll bring you to all of that. Yes, Shayla, you're going to love Fetch, honey. It's an addiction. I got some receipts to scan right now. How did you manage to see the comments on your TV? I mirrored my phone. So I can actually look up there and see everything. But I still look at my camera. I know it's odd, but it's, it's just a thing. I'm used to it. Something I was doing, you know. My hair is weak due to medical condition, especially in the front. How often should I do a strengthening or protein treatment? Um, I mean, Kelly, you don't want to do a protein treatment more than like once a month. I honestly would say once a month is perfectly fine because you only technically have two wash days in a month. Um, and even when you do the protein treatment once a month, you want to make sure that you are hydrating really well. Can I use a 24K conditioner and sit under the dryer? Absolutely, it's a mask. It's made to sit under the dryer, but I also use it to detangle too. Which is better, balm or serum? It depends on what you're using it for. It depends on what you're using it for. Yes, at just, wait. At just me, Crystal suggests that on your wash day, you want to start by clarifying your hair. Well, first you want to detangle, then you want to clarify, then go into your treatment shampoo and conditioner, then go to your mask. Absolutely. Good job, Fatima. The balm is out of stock. We have to make more. It takes us about two days to make that product. In the meantime of me sitting here, I read for and do nothing. I've been trying to get my family and friends to join Fetch, but they haven't. If they only knew. Listen, if they only knew what Fetch can do for things that you've already spent money on. You've already spent the money. So why not get the free points so that you can use it to get free stuff like an iPad? Because that's what I bought with my money. So your points translate to money. Hello? Like, y'all, come on. Like, you know, points translate to money. Come on, you guys. That's all it is. It's not something that you pay for. I use both of my phones and did it. I, I want to see if I can use my watch and do it because my watch has a different phone number. You have to be, you know, you have to be strategic with these things. Can you do one day 4C hair insight Q&A, please? I have so many... I have so many like you know how many videos I have that talk about like 4C hair and stuff like you trust me you can go and see tons of videos on me talking about 4C and doing 4C here's a lot I think Grace just responded back actually no she did not No, she did not answer. How do I keep electric pressing comb clean? Clean it off after every use. Clean it off after every use. But with crystal products, you can't go wrong. Thank you, Fatima. Girls, say it. I joined Fetch in August, and you ate absolutely correct. Happy holidays to you and your family. Thank you. Crystal, you have no videos on 4C q and A. It's not a Q&A, though. There's no Q&A like, dedicated to literally a specific type of hair. The Q&As is based on when people like ask the specific questions, 
and then I answer them that way because I can't really dedicate one whole Q&A to just 4C here. It's not that many questions to answer. Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to look at something. So, um... We, yeah, like I kind of knew. Francine, can you guys just stop? <laughs> you guys, like seriously, come on. I know everybody wants to know what happened and really nothing happened. It was a mutual agreement, that's all. So it was like, okay, I, okay, y'all want to know what happened? I'll just tell y'all what happened. Because y'all going to keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. So on Monday, um, we discussed coming in at 1030, which she did not get here at 1030. Um, I run a business and I love to work with people. I love to laugh and stuff. But you see, when it come on to the business, I take it as that. My business, a client, staff, whomever. You know, I laugh, I joke. I laugh and joke with Kat. I will write Kat up. I have no problem. I laugh and joke with any part of my staff, but if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, it don't matter what staff you are, whether it be the salon or the warehouse, I'm going to address it because if you don't, it'll snowball and then it becomes a situation where you didn't speak up, so now you have no control over your own business. So we had a conversation that, you know, she has to be on time because she hasn't been on time. Um, on specific occasions and as a hairstylist it just doesn't look good that I'm here my clients here but my assistant who's supposed to be assisting me is never here on time um, but she has all her own things going on in her life which is understandable we all have things going on at different times but work is work for me so we discussed it and you know she was just basically like listen I have a lot going on and it's not gonna be that I, it's not that I don't want to be on time. It's just kind of like not possible at this point. So instead of you firing me, I'll just say that today is my last day. And I understood. And what what else could not what else could I say? You gotta understand. Like, hey, no problem. A mutual agreement, understandable. You know, I've been doing this by myself for a while. So me doing it by myself again doesn't really phase me because I've been doing it by myself as you guys can see I got seven clients today and I'm very much managing I actually got time to sit here and chat so it is what it is it is what it is you got to do what you got to do you got to do how you got to do and you got to be ready for certain things if my mind is not in the right place I can't give you a hundred percent of me I can't even give you 70 percent of me that's why I don't come on live sometimes because sometimes I'm not a hundred percent or even 70%, enough to give you some of me. So you gotta just know when you gotta back up. That's all. So no, there was no big blowout, you know, no one's teeth got knocked out, no one got into a fight. It was nothing of that nature because I know that's what y'all were thinking. But for me, it's more like, listen, just like I respect your time and your energy, I need the same respect and that's just where we are with time. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. She's a great person. 
sweet, good to work with. If you understand her, then you, you can work with her. No different from me. I can't work with everybody. A lot of y'all couldn't work with me. I'm too straight to the point. Some people can't handle the straightness. So everybody has their thing. I feel like I have a New Yorker attitude. Mm -hmm. Would you say so? You feel like I have a New Yorker attitude? What do you think? Well, you're, you're direct. Direct. And I like, I like that. Okay. Don't be around the bush. Tell me what you got on your mind. Because I'm going to tell you what's on mine. Okay, good. So just a straight to the pointer straight kind of voice. I right. like straight. I like shooting from the hips. Don't, don't be Me too. Trying to Me too. Because it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Me too. Life is too short to waste time. Tell it people is. what you have on your mind. That's it. It is. Were you always like that? No, I'm not even always like that now. I have my time where, like, Junie is my balance, okay? Y'all always hear me talk about him. He's my balance. He's the one that always reminds me, like, Crystal, you need to speak up. <laughs> because sometimes I don't speak up when I should. I'm a very... I'm not a timid person, but I choose my battles and sometimes not so wisely. I'll take on a battle that I shouldn't have taken on and in a battle that I should have taken on, I won't take on. I'm also one of those people where I don't like confrontation. So if I see a confrontation coming, I will avoid it. That's me. But when you start affecting my pocket, I don't give a damn about none of that. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. You see when you start affecting my pocket or you make me work harder, you got a problem. Other things? I'm an empath too. That's just me. We all have it. Ooh, I Aha, my grace has responded. Mrs. Kennedy, where are the? We also, oh my gosh, really? I'm giving it an explanation, but people are gonna keep asking, so why not just answer? It's not really that serious, though. So, you know, it's not really that serious. That's me. I share with you guys what's okay to share. There were other things that were said and stuff, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm just sharing what is okay for me to share. Do I really want to spend $350 on this? We sell so much B7, I guess like I don't have a choice. Crystal, can you explain what the amino treatment does for natural hair? Does it help with thinning from tension? Thanks. I don't offer amino acid treatments, so that's why I don't I don't really talk about it because it's not something that I offer. Um, it's really one of those things where I don't agree with it. I just I've learned over time what it can do to the hair, which is another reason why I don't offer a lot of straightening treatments. That's why I don't I don't offer a lot of straightening treatments on purpose.
Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to think. I'm ordering products. Or I'm actually ordering, I guess you can call it raw materials. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to order it and I can't think while I'm answering questions and trying to order it. So you guys just bear with me a second, please. Wow, we got to watch her order products. <laughs> we get to watch. You don't, I mean, it's not like anything exciting, you know, guys. Like, it's spending money that you don't want to spend. That's really what I'm doing. Buying raw materials is not really exciting. That means I'm putting out money. But you're bringing back in money. So you always look at it like, what do I stand to gain? Not what am I losing? But I'm still human. I still have to pay it out. You ready, beautiful? It's cold? Huh? Did it go cold? No, no. It's still hot. It's sticky? It's hot. Yeah. No, feel the top. Is it sticky? Oh. Or is it, is it dry? Is it dry? Yeah, I think so. Come. You feel it, let's see. <laughs> oh, wait. You need another layer anyway. Hold on. Hold that thought. Okay. I have to put one more layer. Okay. There is no moon spice yet, you guys. You're driving me crazy. <laughs> There's none. I don't even know who to ask right now. It could be in customs looking at someone. I don't know. I'm really hoping that it would have came today so then we could be using moon spice and, and I make things. Why is this doing this? But the dry moon spice will be available for this next go around. So you'll be able to get the paste or the dry rub. Which I know a lot of you like the dry rub because you can use it a lot more and it lasts a lot longer than the paste. Shout out to my dad for making an awesome product. <laughs> How many clients I have left? Girl, I lost count like two clients ago. I, I think I have like maybe two left. What time is it? Yeah, I think I have two, maybe three. I'm just waiting on her top to dry before I do my silk press on my client. Grace messaged me, so I'm gonna go and look at her, her message. Did I not just do this? Learning lots about my hair and hair care from you. Thank you. All right, good. That's done. Mm. 
Yes, yes. On the road with my sister and brother-in-law. Upset that I'm missing the live. Please tell my family hello. Have a great day. By the way, love your curly looks or locks. You look good, chick. Later. So Grace said, like, didn't I say she on the road with her chauffeur? Y'all didn't hear me? I'm just playing. She's out with the other Kennedys. They're shopping. So she said she's not going to be, probably not going to be on today, but she's out with her family members. They probably just came down. And um, we'll see her probably later or something if I come on live. Moon Spice, Wagwan. Um, how long does it last in the fridge? Up to six months. All right, let me let me see about these people with this um this barrel thing because I don't really know what's happening. Give an update on our shipment. My father told me that it was slated to be within the U.S. by last Wednesday. But we haven't heard anything. She's peeking. That's how she know I had curls. Absolutely. When you work, you have priorities. And in life, you have priorities. But you have to know which priorities are first. That's how it goes. When I say I love your accent, it's beautiful. Thank you. Do relaxers take well with people who are fully gray or does their porosity affect the application process? Porosity can of course affect your um, application process because it can, it can be so porous that it over processes really quick. Thanks for the tip, wrap it, saran, oh, saran, plastic wrap for gray hair. Oh, thank you. Crystal is straight lace, no chaser, and she always said she is not for everybody and that's okay. It's okay to be not for everybody. I used to want to be everybody's friend. I don't give a I don't want to be none of y'all friends. Y'all ain't got to be my friend. That's that New York attitude. Like, sister, you ain't got to like me. It's good. We good. We good. Thank you. You start learning that as you get older. You see that, that word, friend? It don't work too long. Mm-mm. All right, my dear. Sorry. That word, that word, friend will get you in a heap of trouble. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go ahead and install her extensions. Got a picture, y'all. You know yeah, when she come with a picture. Yeah, I'm looking. I know when she come with her pictures. What that means? I forgot what that word was. So you gotta show me. Oh, okay. The nice short one. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, you guys. So we're gonna do a short style. I'm just gonna mark out my close point so I know where my close point is. Okay, so this is my close point. We're kind of like right here, actually. So we are going to apply her extensions. Do you want the front a little longer like that, like before, or? Yeah, a little. Yeah, it's a little.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start applying our shorter pieces. I'm not using too many long pieces for this style. Um, it works out better actually with the shorter pieces than the long ones. Didn't you just buy stuff online? <laughs> Why are you over there? You should go sit down. <laughs> no. Actually, press that button. I mean, <laughs> yes, please. Crystal, like, what time should I get? We can do it. Come in like 20, 30 minutes. Huh? 20, 30 minutes. Oh, okay, let me so. tell Crystal. No. Should first this, degree. One. No, it's going to keep ringing, oh, but. Okay. Here's that time. So, I was thinking, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Um. If you had something up there for shedding, the protein, but the I had the protein, protein conditioner sh set. Yeah, that's what you need. That that stops the shedding over time. It's not gonna be oh, a all your not, fix. Not You're not still gonna shed fix. naturally, though. You still okay. gotta shed naturally. Okay. So there's nothing that's gonna so stop I was you from be shedding. Up there to see what you have specifically for shedding. That's what you that's have. That's the only reason I'm... I was that, that's what you have. Sit, sit in your chair. Thanks. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> that's what you have. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on in. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Hey. How are you? I was lost. Oh, because oh, you went to the other one? Yes. What you getting today, my A relaxer? A relaxer and a new cut. You're going to be mad because this looks a mess on the hill. Oh, I know. So you're getting it shorter? Yes. I figured. <laughs> How did the school thing go? Um, Still going or are you done? Talking about with the problem? thing thing, yeah. Yeah. It's over? No. Still? It's going to have a fit with them when we oh. go back. Oh. Because the lady lying. Oh. So. A grandma said, hey. Hey, baby. Oh, are, oh gosh, why are you like on the phone phone? Like, she got to go. We're at work. Yeah. Brianna, aren't you at work? They're gonna break. What break? Brianna, ain't Brianna out of school? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's at, at break at work or at school? She works at school. Oh, okay. Look, you guys are just grown. I just feel super old. All right, good. It's fine. <laughs> Y'all make me feel old. <laughs> I just remember yeah, these little kids yeah, running yeah. around church and your parents had little spatulas ready to beat y'all at certain <laughs> points. It's cool. Now now you guys are, are watching my children. <laughs> Adriana, Christian, or Alex? Yep. <laughs> Brianna, you remember when Alex cried at your court? Was it coronation? <laughs> oh, my, she had to walk her down the aisle because she was my, was it Miss Jones High, right? Mm -hmm. She got she got the title Miss Jones High, so she asked my daughters to walk. I think what was it? Walk on something like the crowns or something, something like that. And my younger daughter was in tears. I, was, I had to walk with her. It was it was intense. It was intense. <laughs> they were so oh it's okay. And Alex don't care about none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. You gotta wear her face still wet. <laughs> with the with the glove on, try to wipe tears. Uh huh. <laughs> Alex, she saw all those people, and that was it. Oh, she's <laughs> for me. Her up, like, okay, we talked to her the whole time. Oh. She didn't. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> she froze. She was like, uh uh. She did. She did. I'm so proud of you guys because you guys are just doing the thing. I'm proud of you guys. Very proud. So, Maya, let me see the haircut you're getting. I want to see this because she's going to have me. What wig? Listen, I had a rope couple months with her. I knew it was going to be that way because you don't know how to do hair. So, I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's see how this hairdo goes. Oh, you'll be fine. You're already like partially there. I'm fifty-two. You'll be fine. No, no you're here. Oh. Okay. Trying to keep creative crystal. Do you have to split the tracks, or does the hair come like that already? This one comes like this already. This is the reason. This is the reason why I choose this hair, 
um, for my clients to use because it comes nice and thin. I don't have to like work really hard to blend it. I don't really have to do much of anything with this here. Yeah, it's over 500 people on there. <laughs> so don't talk your parents' business and Right, and then here's my mother. All right, hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ask her if I can come over. I won't be right. here. No, but I'm at work. I cannot talk about it right now. I shall call you back. So one thing that I've learned when doing this service, track placement is everything. Because if you don't place your tracks right, you're going to work so hard to try to figure out how to cut this and make it look super natural. So even now, I actually am going to take another class from another stylist who does a lot of alopecia weaving as well. And she's actually graduated into learning how to make the frontals look like hair replacement units. So I'm gonna take her class, which she probably won't even charge me, but I still pay for the class before she even says that. But her methods work really well. So I always try to learn like new things to enhance my skill, fix things that I feel like I'm, I'm not getting in, in the right fashion when I'm working on a client. Like if I'm trying to do something, I'm, I feel like I'm working harder. That's why I end up doing like other trainings and stuff. But people find it weird to learn from other people. I don't know why I learned. Okay. Thank you, Fatima. Tima is doing the role of grace today, you guys. And she just remembers all the answers. Thank you. Pac must be taking a nap because he usually the one that answers questions too. I think I have one more client after my, I think, I think so. Cause I had a total of seven people today, but I don't remember what number I'm on. Actually, yeah, I have one at one o'clock. Where's your mama? She's at work. She ain't gonna retire, ain't she about retired now? She can't retire because I'm still in school and I'm still in her pockets. This is why Adriana's getting a whole job. <laughs> You're not going to be in my pockets forever, honey. Uh -huh. I'll pay for the first four years <laughs> for, for you to actually go, but you're going to get a job. You're going to work. You're not going to live in my pocket forever. Every five seconds. Ma. Ma. <laughs> Ma. Can I? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm going to come back. Later. What? Adriana says they her Adriana says she's going to Harvard. Alex says she's going to NYU. So I said, okay, you guys can get an apartment in between the two. You gotta drive two hours. That's fine. Y'all can share. And then I said, we're gonna buy a house somewhere up the road. <laughs> they were like, never mind. <laughs> so Alex was like, well, mom, what if I go to school in California and Adriana goes to school in Boston? Then what are you gonna do? I guess we're gonna have two homes then. <laughs> They think I'm crazy. I'm being dead serious. 
If Adriana goes to Boston, all of Junie's family is in Boston. So I don't have to worry about a thing. If Alex goes to NYU, that's even better. Or Juilliard. I thought she said Juilliard. Hello. Oh, because he followed me and I didn't know who he was. All right, you guys. So we're almost done applying um, her tracks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a little stroke. Good text me. So if you guys notice, I am being very careful with how I place these ending tracks because I have to close her out. So I'm going to actually make my closer, closure um, for her style because it's so short and that closure piece, if I cut it too short, it's just not going to work. So some of you always ask, you know, do I make my own closure? Do I use the closure piece? I can do both. I mean, they didn't have closure pieces when I first started doing hair. That just became a thing. And they looked super wiggy when I just started doing hair. So now, you know, the fact that they have those, it's, it's a plus. But most people try to just make their own closure. It gives you a little more fullness in that area. But I can use both. You remember what client? Did I miss something? Y'all don't know. Y'all just be talking to yourself in there. All right, so we're doing the last little piece here. We're going to close her out. Maya. <laughs> so were you at home with your parents or you, you were away at school oh that's in daytona you going back or you staying i'm going back tomorrow you still I, at school i stay in an apartment in daytona. i know but aren't you coming for the holidays or your parents coming there um i'm gonna be at my cousin house she's staying in daytona too for the 24th oh. and then i'll be home and then you're gonna stay you are an adult now it sounds so odd <laughs> I just can't let it go. So you were never on campus or you, you just did your first year? That was it. I did my first two years on campus. Are the dorms nice? No. I'm scared of laying there. I figured. <laughs> I figured. <clears throat> did you go to the classic? Hmm? Did you go to the classic? Mm -mm, not this year. It wasn't really a big thing this year, actually. I feel like nobody really cared. Um, because it's good myself. So. Well, thank you for being so honest. Well, they do. Compared to fam. Yeah, they fired the head coach. Yeah, I heard about that. I did find a lot of people, actually. Mm -hmm. You don't even have a president. Still? Still. I mean, after that whole conspiracy that we had? Yeah, that he's still in the running. That's sad. All right, you guys. So now she is all covered. So this is for me. So we're gonna cut her, curl her, all that good stuff, and then she's out of here. So for the sides, I like to use a razor to cut that part because I don't want to run the risk of making it too blunt and then it doesn't blend in with her hair.
you sure? Yeah, it's okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So these are called thinning shears, but you can use them kind of like razors where it won't give you a blunt cut if you turn them the opposite direction. So if I go this way, it's going to give me a blunt cut. But if I go this way, it gives me the look like I use the razor. So would wear that color I asked because I'm about to. Um yeah, I'm actually gonna color my hair back to this in the top. I'm tired of this brown color that I have up here. So I'm gonna color mine to go back to this color. Probably won't do it till like tomorrow or maybe even Friday. turn on that dryer so I'm gonna give her a light mold she won't be under there very long it's just to get those little hairs to lay down that's kind of the only issue with using the short hair just the top one yeah. and then turn the bottom one all the way around the other way yep um the short hair is good for pixies, but you still have to kind of mold it or they will not lay down. You'll be forcing them to do something. Trying to get the back bit looking like this. Alright. Okay, so when you mold this, you're not going to use a ton of foam. for right here. She'll literally be under there for minutes. Okay, so we're not molding her per se to do the whole mold again. We're just molding her so that the extensions will blend 
with her hair seeing as though they're short. And then we're also going to use it for her crown area up here so that that area will lay down really nicely and just kind of blend together. You can also use water and do it, but wrap foam works a little bit better. Okay, so just like that. That's how you know if your blending was done right, it'll blend like it'll mesh in like it was just real hair, like her hair. because she's doing a very sh short cut. Let me see that picture one more time so I can see how tall the top is or how long the top is. This probably won't even be enough for her hair, but I'm starting with one. So you want like a mushroom. They said we already saw under the bunny. I know, that's why I'm like, I don't really understand what the, the purpose of hiding. So you want like a mushroom style? Yeah. Well, yours is gonna be a lot fuller than that. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. So she's doing a mushroom. You guys don't know, do you, you know what a mushroom is, right? <laughs> you wanna keep the jacket on and take it off? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna keep it on. They bond and get on my nerves. All right, you guys, so we're gonna actually cut her down really low. Okay, I like them. They're very encouraging. Ooh. Come on, come on. All right, so we're gonna cut her hair off real quick. Ooh, my Maya, what's up? <laughs> Woo. So Maya actually had a video on my channel when we did this style. Ask her what happened. <laughs> no one knows. School, school got in the way. Oh, I'm 
No, she has very dense hair. She's always had very dense hair. All right, head down for me. What is this? Oh, you still have this thing? Oh my gosh. That thing aggravates me. Let me see it till like one more Okay, so I'm gonna use my clippers with the guard to start. Just to get her hair down. Oh my God, Maya. But it's thick back there. <laughs> no man, it's intense. <laughs> Let's try this again. Sound like they want to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, do my hair. My poor Clifford is like, Nah. It's like a weed whacker that's about to give out. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're gonna cut some of her top off. She's keeping a little bit of length, so I'm being mindful that we are gonna. giving her a safe cut a safe length because I know that we're gonna have some form of bangs so you don't want to cut too much off and then you run the risk of not having enough hair for bangs and I know she needs a relaxer so I'm gonna gain about another inch to a half an inch of lay so that is the reason why I cut her down like that all right so we're gonna <laughs> I'm going to put on her relaxer. Just know I'm using my hands for this because this is not going to be a, a brush towel moment. <laughs> Head down for me, please. Y'all see this? Oh, no. No brush is going to get into this, honey. This requires old school hands. <laughs> old school. There's no brush on the planet that's going to pry through this. She's making you work for your money today. <laughs> Listen, every time... Every time. <laughs> so why do you wait so long? Maya? Ask her again. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maya's just never really been a hair person. No. She don't really know much about hair. Her mom, same way. Like, they just entrust you with their hair and then that's <laughs> it. Like, I've known Maya since she was a little girl. We went to the same church. So you gotta come up in so, what's no, Maya's just real impromptu, you know? I just She's real impromptu. I just, you know, I think up. I want a haircut today. That's how Maya do. <laughs> you don't show up. <laughs> and then if she can't get me, then her mom calls. Oh, okay. <laughs> they always find a way. And if her mom can't get me, then she calls my mom. <laughs> Hold your ear for me. Oh, it still hurts? Mm -mm. Ooh, 
life just kicked over after I get my hair done. But then in the meantime, she's never taken she don't think of it that way right now. <laughs> you just get too much, I just slap a wig on. Oh, okay. That's what she's been doing, and that's why it looks like oh. this. <laughs> that's why it's nice and matted. And that wig been looking like real big. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know how to gel it down. You put it on here. It's far down as No, no. How do you think your hair feels? <laughs> oh no, we gotta get this thing to lay. Remember the last time it didn't lay as well as it should. And I had to use heat. That's also the reason why I use my hands because I can apply it a lot faster with my hand so that the processing will have time to actually process. Yeah, well, that's just I get it. Same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can make it. Can you pass me one of those towels? Can I get here? Up there, please. She'll get a towel you wipe the arrow, okay? Thank you. I wish I had thick hair like this. Mm. Not me, honey. This thick hair poses a lot of trouble. <laughs> you don't know what to do with it. Hence the reason why every Thursday she figures out she's going to do a haircut. Then it's, I'm going to cover it up. <laughs> because it comes with a lot of responsibility. I, I would prefer like half of this. Half of this would be normal for me. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the relaxer in her crown. Remember, she's already relaxed up here, so that's the reason why I saved this for last. But I still have to be quick because she still has a lot of new growth.
once the relaxer is done, I think you'll feel a lot better. So you haven't relaxed it since you did? Yeah, was that August? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> How many months is that? That's a long time. <laughs> so she got her hair done in August and has not relaxed it again since then. So we're basically, we are doing a virgin relaxer cutting style is what we're doing because, wow. You know I'm not the tender-headed stylist, honey. You know I'm not going to even pay your thing. You can be, I'm still going to keep moving and grooving. This is a relaxer. I don't even play. So you'll be back in February to get this ticket. Oh. <laughs> you don't know who you're talking about here. I'll go beat that. At least the first week of February. You do not know Maya. <laughs> I don't even listen to her with her. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be here on... Mm, okay. <laughs> when I see her name pop up on my schedule, then I know she'll be here. <laughs> For someone that's so tender-headed like her, you'd think that she'd be in the salon a little more often. But you know, you see she's squirming by just a relaxer. Sometimes you just gotta take things for face value. <laughs> and you gotta feel pain. She used to cry years ago. To get out here, though? What her eyes be red walking out of here? Oh my. Oh, jeez. I've always been the one to cut her hair. I've always, it's just always been that way. You know the saddest part? She doesn't even take care of her hair, and her hair still grow like wildfire. Really? She has no problems with hair growth and healthy hair. Oh my! Not a drop. That's your heart. People pay for that. <laughs> People pay good money for that. <laughs> I don't know what all right, so the back is broken down really well. That's good. Now we just gotta focus on this top. We don't want it to be too um, kinky, and I don't want it to be texturized either. I want it to actually be straight because her hair is so dense. So when is the next opening 
Yeah, it's been open for weeks. You know, so I don't understand. And I sent you, out an email I think too. You do this while you while I sent out a whole it. email on it. <laughs> I didn't get an email. So see that now that's not my fault. I sent out an email, but see if my emails go to your promotions tab, you're not gonna see them. It's not gonna notify you. It's just gonna be sitting in there. All right. So I tell everybody if you have Jeez. Gmail. To not put us in your promotions tab, you have to move us to your priority tab, especially clients, or you'd never get a notification about anything. Okay. That's what Gmail does. Yahoo started doing that too, I think. Really? Where they have a priority tab, and then they have a promotions tab, which is like where your stores and sales go, and then any type of business, and then you have your social tab, where anything that has to do with social media will go. Too, too much. Mm -hmm. I, I want a simple life. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. Don't though. you agree? We want a simple life. <laughs> All this complication. Push one, push two, push nine. Talk to a machine. Right. Can't talk to a human. It's, it's really frustrating. You have a long way to speak to us. Oh my goodness. Have you ever called the IRS? Yes. Yes. That is the worst to call because you no, gotta I, I you gotta understand to, how to get to them. Like the only way you can get to the IRS is saying that you're trying to make a payment, and all of a sudden you get a whole live operator. Oh, yeah. Quick, 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 fast, and in a hurry, like a bunny. Oh my god! <laughs> if you want to make a payment, yes. That's how I get to them. I always say I gotta make a payment. <laughs> oh but if they owe you, forget it. Uh -uh. <laughs> Oh, yes. Look at that. You almost look like a real person now. <laughs> <laughs> you know she ain't saying nothing because she's under pressure right now. <laughs> now, did you scratch? Mm -mm. Oh, good girl. She couldn't get to her scalp. <laughs> <laughs> her scalp was thick. So I'm using a, a fine tooth comb, you guys, because Maya's hair. <laughs> if y'all ever worked with her hair, you'd understand that it, it will appear that it's broken down and it has done nothing. <laughs> so I'm using the small tooth comb to really break the bond and stretch out these roots because I know exactly what her hair will do. Once we get to that bowl, it'll go and roll right up. <laughs> Back here is, is good, except for right here. Yeah, these parts are not even moving yet. Oh, oh that's deep. All right, last piece. One relaxer did work. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> come, come on. Come. Me? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a quick curl up. Her hair is nice and dry as it should be.
Thank you, June, for answering that question. Maya, how you feel? Hmm? Where? Okay. Okay. This one spot or the whole thing? It's like right here. Hmm? Show me again.
in the comments? No. no. <laughs> Short hair. Short hair is good. Mm -hmm. Easy to manage. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That feels good. I love the color of your hair. My hair. The yes, color sir. of it. I divorced the square all two years ago, and this is what I wind up with. <laughs> I used to color my hair every week. I would be on, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's nice like, when the whole thing, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then I cut it off and we do that. Yeah. <laughs> 19, 2019, I cut it off. Cut it down all the way down. Yeah. Like here. So I just brushed it. Mm -hmm. And two years mm -hmm. later, I got yeah. this. <laughs> Stop coloring. I've colored since I was 18. I oh, all the color. time. Always had color. Yeah. Me so too, back when I was coming in. I used to cut my hair all the time. Too. Yes. All kind of colors, and yes. oh my god, <laughs> and here's that color that later on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's indeed. And then I saw this crystal on YouTube. <laughs> she was doing a white a lady had um, salt and pepper hair, and I said, Oh, look, somebody <laughs> knows how to do white hair. Yeah, white she's... hair. Perfect. <laughs> and then I sent her a text, and then I realized, oh no, 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 you gotta, you gotta look further. <laughs> <laughs> and I investigated further, but I had my niece look, I said, listen, you have to find this lady, she's gotta be somewhere here. And then it said a popka, and I said, popka? Because <laughs> I live right off of Hathaway over here. Oh. And then it said, no, she's on no con. I'm like, yes, God is good. know how to do like she puts color in it for oh, whatever that is to take all the yellow yeah yeah and i don't know why i've had one lady who used to do some <laughs> i do want to come back and get my hair dyed but i just don't know what color <sighs> listen you can't dye your hair if you don't take care of it <laughs> <laughs> then it's gonna fall off no i'm serious yeah it's gonna fall out what's gonna happen when you're bald Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, Charlotte. How are you? I'm good. How is How's it going, Charlotte? Good. Good. Just tired. On vacation? We're just starting. <laughs> today? So you were yes. there early, earlier this week? No, I just started today. You just started today? Wow. So you guys had like a teacher work day today? Or is it just, that's it? That was on um, Monday and Tuesday.
Oh, how I wish YouTube would let us play music. <laughs> like YouTube makes you in silence. Probably. <laughs> off your neck and <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. 
keep your stuff. Scholarship to cosmetology school and really, yeah, my mom. I didn't want to put a strain on her for me yeah. to go to culinary school at forty thousand a year. So, so you like cooking? Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. I don't like to commercial cook. I like but to I like eat, to cook. but I don't. Like to cook. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes, indeed. I do. Like to eat. <laughs> oh my god, the cooking thing. Nah, I can pass. Take this top. You don't cash. Check it one time, please. You, you always say check it. Yes, check it. Thank please. you, my dear. Well, Thank you, you, love. Can you give me one of your cards? Yeah. You give me one. I did? Yes? You yes, did? I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess I'm moving quick. Give me one. Sorry. How are you doing the wash, right? Yeah. Uh, have a good holiday. See you in January. Okay, honey. Okay, dear. Be safe. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Take care. Yeah. Nice to see you. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again, Chris. Thank you, dear. All right, come on back to it. I'm just shampooing my client who had the relaxer because, boy, his hair is just a whole task. Charlotte, I think you're my last client. I'd be glad if you are. A part of me says that I have a 130 that I
thing with your hat. Mm -hmm. Cow. Oh. You can throw it away. <laughs> bonnet. A little ugly bonnet. Throw that thing in the trash. No, I need my bonnet. The bonnet gets under my skin. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to soak my client. She is the client that we also did the um, violet toner on her. To remove any yellow. It also helps to um, minimize if she does start to yellow. It'll end up skipping yellowing and go more white. So that's kind of how toner is. Oh, okay. We should say, uh uh. Oh, did the Amazon pay work? I think so. <laughs> she got a receipt. Amazon? They, 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 they email, but I wasn't looking at that. Okay. But it used the Amazon one, right? Yes. Yeah. And it worked with that same card, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, I do have a 1.30 appointment. I forgot. In my head, I'm like, yes, I'm done. No, I'm not. All right, you guys, so we're going to silk press her. I'm going to use my one-inch H2 Pro um, titanium. You want it curled? I'm going to wrap it. Oh, are you going to wrap it up? Yes, and I got my clips right here. Look at you. <laughs> she even brought her pins. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, so we're going to do what we call a texture press, which is good for this weather because this weather is super gloomy and yes, slightly yes, wet for yes, some reason. Really, yes. It's going to be very cold, I heard, on the weekend. Everybody's saying that it's supposed to be like super cold. 40 deg 43 degrees in the daytime. That's, that's, that's... And now what at night? Yeah. I don't know. I don't even want to know. I think 40 degrees is not for Florida. I think something's We've happening. had worse than that. January, yeah. February, it gets colder than you 40 degrees. I, I think of March and April. And, yeah. We've gotten down to the 20s here. Like, it's, it's but gotten I'm in the house super cold. Time, so it's okay. It but it's like state of emergency. For us here. <laughs> yes, indeed. If it's not 80, it's mm -hmm. too cold. I mean, at 60 degrees, we're bringing out bubble jackets and Ugg boots. So... <laughs> I should I tell mean, you guys, we don't use that. You use them once a year, so. That's your opportunity day, to wear your trench coat and everything and don't look funny. <laughs> That's true. Look at how white and pearly her hair is. Ooh. I use that too on my clients. Can you guys see the pearl on her hair? You said it's nine degrees there. Wow. Pack said it's nine degrees in Nebraska. They can keep it right there. Nine. Who counts after 40? Who, who, who does that? I mean, I've been in New York when it was two degrees. So I, listen, I lived in New Jersey for 38 years, so I know what it is to be cold, and I don't like it. And shoveling that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
No. So would you prefer cold or hurricanes? Pick one. Uh, hurricane. You'll take the hurricane? I don't have to shovel water. You don't have to shovel water? <laughs> no, don't have to shovel water. But there's not a bunch of disaster with, with snowstorms versus hurricanes. That's okay. It, no. It, it, no. No? I'm it's, still, no. it's still a no. Yeah. Especially when you shovel your car out and then you put the garbage can there and people come and move it and put their car. In. No. Mm -mm. Oh, you just had a whole a whole flashback, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> so no, uh -uh. I'll deal with the water. And no matter how much you put on, you'll never get the water. <laughs> Yes, her white hair, yes, it's beautiful. I know one thing, these roots are like pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Turning into Maya? <laughs> no, yours is worse. <laughs> the iron feels like it's not even touching your roots. That's oh just how my thick, goodness. how thick, nice and coarse they are. The iron feels like I'm glazing your roots. <laughs> Y'all, we'll have, have to take out the Calvary here. Get ready to run to nothing. Your roots are being real special. <laughs> so, Maya, I wouldn't talk about you again. Okay. I wouldn't talk about you again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to pull out the Calvary here and, and get these roots to go a little smoother than what they are. Well, her press is going to be nice and big. Basically what I'm doing is stretching out her roots with a blow dryer rather than me trying to use rather than me trying to use the flat iron and having to get super close. I can just use a ceramic brush and a little tension and the blow dryer will stretch those roots out for me and then all I gotta do is curl her. 
Now this doesn't work with every blow dryer though. Your blow dryer has to be nice and hot. Right. A lot better. Look at that. Look how the cone just glides. Before it was like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> it's popping at the right time. Christmas. How's it going, Julian? I know it's nice and cold in Canada. If we're talking about 30s and 40s, I know you're talking about negative ones and twos. Her hair is lovely and glistening white. Hey, thanks. I'll say thanks on her behalf. It's because I got a good hairdresser. Hi, Grace. Mrs. Kennedy is in the house.
nine Celsius. What what's that Fahrenheit? Somebody Miss Ted, my educator. What's the Celsius to Fahrenheit chart? <laughs> you know what? I don't remember. You don't read it seems those. Like oh, doesn't it you add or you subtract? 30, uh, Celsius is gonna be lower. It's always gonna be lower than Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Let's ask Alexa. That's what she gets paid for. <laughs> Alexa, what degree Fahrenheit is nine degrees Celsius? Nine degrees Celsius is forty-eight point two degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, you guys have good weather going on. Package is delivered today. Did you find this delivery update useful? I ain't even asking about that. You just put my business out there. <laughs> so forty-eight point two degrees Fahrenheit. How is that possible? You're in Canada, which is much farther north. Yet we have colder weather here. Your weather should be like the North Pole <laughs> or Antarctica. Have you guys ever watched those videos of Antarctica and how their weather is with the population of like 200 people? Like their weather, their degrees, it'll be all negative 50, mm -hmm. negative 20. Mm -hmm. So they put on like five, six layers of clothes. They wear thermals. Mm -hmm. When they do go outside, mm -hmm. they immediately can get frostbite. I'm like, wow, but it's only researchers that live there. Nobody mm -hmm. actually like lives there. I don't know what they're researching, but I like to watch them on YouTube. Global warming? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I know they get paid big bucks to be there though. Could you imagine being in a place where you're like one of the only 200 humans on the entire continent. And you live kind of like on a, it's like a boat, but it's not a boat. I mean, if, if they're getting paid six, seven figures to do this, we can have a conversation. <laughs> But you, you know, it's, it's not that. It's the excitement of knowing that you've gone, you're someplace that no one would really ever go. Like, I know they have cruises that kind of go close to it or something. All right, so we're just doing her hairline here with the three tenths of an inch. Black diamond. Mm -hmm. Her hair is all beautiful. So we're gonna put a little bit of frizz tamer, which is just like a squirt to help help um, add a little more protection to her colors, so she doesn't turn super yellow. First timer is clear in color or transparent, so it won't add color to your hair. Which is also the reason why I did not put it on her hair when I was silking her because I don't want to run run want to run the risk of it tinting her hair. Alright, so we're gonna wrap her. She came prepared.
I actually don't need that one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. How long are you going to be gone? Two weeks? Mm-hmm. I'll be back the little bit of the first week of January. You can set it a shampoo bowl. I owed you two fifty from last time because when the young lady was here, you gave her ten dollars. I gave you one twenty. And I was too lazy to come back. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, I didn't even remember that. Thank you, my dear. Did you get a car? Thank you. Right, well, Thank you. See you after yes. the holidays. Yes. Be safe. Even the kids. Thank you. Uh, don't be so hard on her. Oh, tell. She'll be all right. Okay. She'll, she'll survive. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. So we are going to do a wash and style. Okay. Up there. Let's see. So I have one more client, which is my 130. Move forward for me. So all of my clients now are washes. Maya, I'm gonna cut her, put her under the dryer to dry. Charlotte, same thing. And then my last client, she's getting a protein and your girl is officially done for the year. You doing this again? Uh, yeah, I need to see what it looks like up there. I think so. This is the one that I gave her. Mm -hmm. the one that, you mm -hmm. have, yeah. mm -hmm. that was much better. Mm -hmm. the, um, what do you call it? The stuff on the south. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Water for that. That, ooh, that other one was killing me. Was it hurting or itching? It was itching. Like, I never had anything itching me like that. Wow. <laughs> it had that white flake. It was a thick white flake thing. All across, mm. all over it, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one was much better. Yeah, I think I probably am allergic to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know what's in it for the allergies. There's yeah. no way for me to know, but yeah. usually it would be like, latex, but those are latex free. Yeah. Like bad. So I'm just combing out any residual adhesive, which is just glue, you guys, on the sides, which is not even that much. So we're going to give her a little soothe and balance up here since it's always covered. My, hmm? Where's that from? First, which one? The green. One. The green?
Her conditioner, same thing. I'm going to use the B7 conditioner. You can use the mask as well if you want to do a deep conditioning treatment. But I'm just going to use the instant slash can be a deep conditioner and not the mask. processing cap. It's just, it's not as thick as the mask. Mm -hmm. So some people would want a little more um, hydrating and strengthening action. So that's mm -hmm. why you use the mask. Okay. The regular conditioner is thinner. Okay. Alright, so to rinse the conditioner, you're going to use cool water. Yeah, 
not cutting it. Trim around the sides. Well, no, that's what I'll say. I'll, I'll cut around your ear. But oh, okay. No, just in regards to the, the regular um, haircut, haircut. I did get more hair this time. Okay. I'm just cutting off the hair around her ears so that I can mold her. You can mold without cutting, but it's a little bit easier for the hair to lay when you cut the hair around the ears first. It might not be 100%, but cutting it around the ear makes it a lot easier for you. And then we're going to cover her crown. Stressing her out. Well, I'm not even done, so. <laughs> Why she sound like my mother? Oh my God, I thought it was just me. I told you the first one that I like. Can you give me some serum up there before you finish? I, I, I got you. Okay. All right. I'm yeah, no, I, I, I just want to do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get it prepared. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Else. I could use a little of the uh, the new what's the cream? The, the, the edge store? Okay. The edge yeah, store? Yeah, and I can see some okay. some growth around that area while I have the style. Oh, that's good. Um, it's not heavy either. It's really well. Light. I didn't. I can only use it after it was sort of lifting. You know, some when it got yeah, older. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. If you guys recall earlier today when I was saying how to use the scalp stimulator tool, if you have longer hair in the area, you want to just make sure you hold it down with your fingers so that the stimulator tool does not pull the hairs because it does have those micro needles and it's a roller so it can roll hair into it. But that's really just for any area that has longer hair. So we're gonna get up here prepared. partly dry this. So 
So the reason why I partly dried the area is when you're gonna put the client under the dryer and you're gonna apply any type of gel form or gel style base, that makes the hair even harder to dry. So I like to like kind of partially dry the client's hair so that we're not waiting on her hair to dry in a braid as well as the gel base to dry on top of her hair that has also mixed in with the hair that's already wet. So this just kind of, it saves a lot of drier time so that she's not sitting under there for years and years and years and she can still gotta get out of here in, in a good amount of time. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. Where's my gel? So we're going to put a couple end papers up here. Number one, we're going to put one right here in her front. And then this last end paper, I'm going to kind of cut in place. We're gonna mold her sides in her back.
that. She's gonna go into the dryer. And keep the towel. You want to take it off? I can keep it. Come on over. Alright, haircut time for me to figure out my direction. So first things first, we're going to start around the sides. Which is kind of why we did the preliminary cut in the first place so that I don't have a lot to try to cut off now and try to figure out the direction we're going. Right, chin down and relax your shoulders. So the style she's doing is kind of like what I would call a mushroom um, with it tapered in the back. So we're going to start there. And then as we get to right around the ear, I'm going to bring all of her hair down to start the mushroom shape. here where she wants that that mushroom look we're not going to cut into this part we'll even it out slightly but we're going to use our guide at the top to determine how short or how much um layering we're going to do All I'm doing is just laying it out the way that I'm going to style it, possibly making sure that I can see exactly where the hair is going to be, and then that will determine my cut. Chin down for you. Chin down. Thank you. 
Alright, so clearly my hair has already started. So I'm going to use back here as my guide and just work my way around. So down here is going to still be tapered.
שני. So we're gonna mold her. She's down again, Mary. All the way down. Thank you. She's got to look at herself in the camera, apparently. the best way to detangle your hair what after removing braids before washing just with a wide tooth comb you go through and comb through your ends and that's really all you can do like there's no better way of doing it because really your, your focus is to make sure that you don't allow it to get wet while it's matted or in one formation
gonna approach him. Yes. Final clients of the day, people. Final clients of the year, to be exact. That is it for the year. Wow. <laughs> and I will not be back in this salon until next year. Sounds fabulous. All right, so we're gonna do a protein treatment for my client. She got a relaxer about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, so today is her protein day. For her shampoo, what is it? You surely deserve the break, thank you. So what are we doing, going to do while you're gone? I mean, I'm gonna attempt to go live here and there. Um, I said I was gonna pre-record a couple of informational videos in regards to like porosity and all that stuff and just have them cipher in and drop so that I don't get to the point where I don't have any content for like two weeks. That's just not good. All right, so we're gonna do a clarifying shampoo first, but I'm making sure that I saturate her hair really well. Remember whenever you're going to do any form of wash, it doesn't matter if it's wash day or partially wash day, you wanna make sure that you clarify. Now, as of right now, the clarifying shampoo is sold out, but it will be back in stock before the end of this week. going to use the hair repair and restore shampoo. As I said earlier, she got a relaxer about two weeks ago, so today is her protein treatment. And remember, after every relaxer, about two or three weeks is when you do your protein. Maya. Maya, move to the second dryer, because need, it needs to be farther down. Move to the second dryer. And you're here and won't dry today. Sit in the second dryer. Take, take the hair and put it in my chair. And then turn on the second dryer, just the top one. Turn it on to 45. And then the bottom one, turn it all the way to the counterclockwise. Other way. Clockwise then. There you go. Okay. Now you can sit under it. 
pull the chair out a little bit. There you go. And then pull it down. Perfect. It's gonna warm up. I'm towel drying her before I put her protein on. And then we're using the Elite Repair RX protein treatment for her protein. I'm gonna dry for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna warm up my food so I can eat and drink some juice. And then I'm gonna use the restroom while my food warms because I have not left this room.
Oh, you guys are talking about those orange things? It's called keep, keep something. I forgot what. Keep untangled or something. Something like that. Ah, guess what I'm going to eat? Curry gourd. And it nice. We don't have a break room here. Just so you guys know, we don't have a break room whatsoever. So your 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 studio is your break room. This was also partly breakfast, so I'm just eating it for lunch. Both your clients you did protein treatments are low porosity. How in the heck would you know that? Why are you assuming that they're low porosity? What telepathic ability do you have? Both clients that I did a protein treatment on, they have a relaxer. So what does that automatically make them? If my client has a relaxer, so I'm gonna ask my pros. If my client has a relaxer, then would they be considered high porosity or low porosity? Because I didn't mention anything about porosity when I was doing their protein. Not one word. Because automatically, they're high porosity. So you'd never hear me say it, Shirley. But to answer your question, because they have a relaxer, they're getting a protein treatment, regardless if they were low porosity in real life, because they have a because they have a relaxer, it is an automatic protein treatment two to three weeks. But hold on, Shirley had a second part of her question. I didn't see that the rest of it. Why did you choose to use B7 shampoo on one and moist repair on the other one? They both had a two to three gap after relaxer service. So it's not just porosity, Shirley. That's a good question. I like that question. So I'm going to tell you. It's not just porosity that determines what shampoo or conditioner I'm going to use. Porosity is one of the characteristics that I use, which is one of the main ones. But when clients come in here, I haven't done a porosity test on them to know their porosity. So I'm going based on the feel of the hair, the look of the hair, the density of the hair or the texture of the hair. Oh, hold on, I gotta take this one. That is what's gonna determine what I'm gonna use for their hair. So one client was more fine in texture, so she needed volumizing. The other client wasn't. Hello? Hey, Mike. Well, that's the account. That's the account that I use. That's the account that everything is deposited to. That's where all of my deposits go. It's the same one. Uh, yeah, that's the account. They both end in seven four six.
I'll probably call it the checking then. Uh, yeah, give me a couple minutes, I'll send it. If you want to just send me a quick email so I can just reply to it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Bye. So Shirley, I hope that answers your question. So each person that I, I use shampoo and conditioner on, they're all gonna be something different. So it's not just because of porosity. That's a determining factor, but I don't do porosity testing here. So I never can really say I know their porosity. Oh no, there's a new dating site for all ages. Great. <laughs> and to answer Grace's question, yes, this was breakfast. I decided to have curry goat with yam banana and um, sweet potato for breakfast. I'm relaxed but low porosity. Your moisture period and elite hydrogen are best for me. And thank you for answering my question. So with you being relaxed, don't get stuck up on using the moisture repair though. Because you have to have an equal balance when it comes on to relaxed hair. You need to have a balance of both moisture and strength. And relaxed hair needs more strength than moisture. So if you continue to put moisture, 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 then you're going to start having what we call moisture overload and you want to make sure you balance that out so honestly i don't do porosity tests if i'm relaxed because i'm automatically going to follow relaxed hair protocol which is high porosity it's chemically treated i don't know they say you shouldn't warm up curry because it will hurt your belly but it's nice The Empress Collection is really good. If you're using that, then you're fine. Okay, yes, you say you're also using it. So you're already doing it. So good. You're already on the right track. If you're transitioning would you still need both the moist repair moisture and protein or one more than the other you need both because remember as of right now transitioning you have more relaxed hair than natural hair so you still got to care for that relaxed hair until the day you cut it off Curry have a one bone. They barely got meat on it. One heap of bone. Bone, bone, bone. Watch out. More bone. Then more bone. Where's the meat? Exactly. But you know, all the old time people, they love to tell you, oh, don't warm up curry. They're good for your belly. And I don't business. Very nice. Shirley, you shouldn't alternate between protein and the Empress Collection. You don't need that much protein. 
you can alternate between moisture and and empress but protein and inter empress is strengthening and strengthening it's so hot in here So my hair is thinning and I have large amounts of buildup on my scalp. I have the repair and scalp kits. That should be good. Ready? One second.
Oh, yes. I was more thirsty than hungry. All right, so we're going to rinse her out. So let's see who was paying attention. What what temperature water are we going to use to rinse out the Repair RX protein? What temperature of water are we going to use to rinse out the Repair RX protein treatment? And by temperature, I mean cold water or warm water. Thank you, Kathy. Warm. Vandra. No, we didn't mean cool. We're using warm water to rinse the protein. When do we switch to cool water? We're rinsing the protein, not because it's a conditioner. You guys don't get confused with the fact that it's a conditioner. We're rinsing a protein treatment. When do we now move, when do we move to cool water in this process? To rinse the number two, which is the hydrate. That is when we move to cool water. With the protein, we use warm water. Now there's nothing wrong if you do use cool water, that's your choice, but you're gonna have to rinse a lot more because it is a protein, so it's binded to the hair. So now when I'm going to do her conditioner, which is the hydrate, this is when you'll use cool water. So make sure that you put the conditioner everywhere. Now, what is a rule that I also said? If you are low porosity, what are you gonna do in this step? If you are low porosity and natural, what are you gonna do at this step? There's something that you should be doing. Heat, correct as is. What kind of heat? Go under the dryer, correct, with a cap, absolutely. Now, is it normal to still be losing a couple strands after a protein treatment? Is it normal to still have a couple strands out after a protein treatment? I know it's nice and cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'm using cool water now, you can tell by her eyes. <laughs> the eyeballs typically roll. Thank you, Sherry. Yes, it is actually normal to have a couple strands come off on your comb. Naturally, you are going to shed. That does not stop anything. Naturally. Hmm? Naturally, it's going to shed. Yes, naturally, you're supposed to shed. No <laughs> different from you're supposed to shed skin cells too, right? that layer of skin, how are you going to generate new skin if nothing changes? So how are you going to generate healthier hair if nothing changes? It's not going through the cycle like it should. How long does it take? Hmm? How long does it take to go through the cycle? Well, that part I can't answer for you, I don't know. All right, I'm using a little bit of the B7 Volumizing Leave-In Spray. She is fine textured. And I'm still going to spray her with a little bit of the um, blow-dry heat protectant spray. One this way, right? Yes. And then I'm going to comb her down so she can go under the dryer and dry before I blow-dry the remainder and style her. Pink curls out. Pink curls? Out. Oh, okay. I mean, I brought some. I just had to buy some from the 
You mean like the duck numbers? Or just hairpins? Oh, I can't tell you those, Mama. I can just pin you with a couple of hairpins and you get some things those. I can't tell you those. <laughs> I forgot them already. Right All right, you guys, I'm just gonna clean out my sink because that is my final client for this year. So I will not be back in here until <laughs> next year. So I plan on making sure, of course, that I leave my salon clean. up the back bar and by clean up the back bar basically put away any brushes where they belong any bowls combs so all of these combs will go in my drawer all of these brushes will go in the respective container over here Thank you, Julie.
Grace, don't start. Don't don't start. <laughs> I'm not listening to Grace, but ooh, the last. Don't start. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Miss Kennedy, don't do that. I'm not doing that with you today. Question, can you color, you said too hot? Question, can you color with semi-permanent and use a protein in the same service? If so, is there an order that should be done? So, Emerald, yes, you can. You're going to do your protein treatment in its entirety first, and then you'll do your color after. Finally, catching a live. I love how informative you are. Thank you so much. I've learned so much. Keep doing your thing. Thank you. all her extensions before I install the extensions I'm gonna go ahead and clean her cut up
So we're gonna go ahead and apply our hair. So we're doing it a little bit longer. Is that what you want? Are you still exposing your ear or not? Um, the ear can be covered too. You want the length over here more than right. Less. I, I don't want it so where it's covering my half my face. Because I get too hot. Okay, so, so you how can you do it? Yeah, that's, that's, that's two different things. <laughs> So you want more length over here, but less here. That's that's a mis messed up cut. Okay. So if I'm gonna keep you short here mm -hmm. and come here and then go like this, you're gonna be like you have a tail. So okay. it's it's not okay. it's not proportional. Okay. Well, proportionate where it's longer than it was. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. longer on the side. Right. But if you can keep it where I can keep it out of my face. Okay. So I won't make it drastic over here, I'll kind of diagonal it so it'll kind of come like that. Yes. That's better? Yeah. Okay. 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 It's, it's a compromise. I'll take the compromise. Right. And not too thick. Not too thick. Okay. okay. So the thin, the fineness that you had the last time, was that fine? That was pretty good. Those, um, to me, those were thinner than the other ones. More than, yeah, are these they? are a lot thinner. That's, mm -hmm. why they, that's why they act like they're giving you so much hair in the pack when really they're not. <laughs> they're giving you, yes. um, split bundles at <laughs> two packs. Yes, I see. That's exactly what they're giving you. Yeah, I see. And they might add a little bit more, but well, the they... girl that I saw told me actually it was on, it was a decent deal. I, I could tell you the price, but I think it was like twenty. Twenty dollars for that all of that. Oh that's and actually a good deal. Clearance. Mm, that's a good <laughs> so deal. So that's why I said, Oh that color can work. Yeah that that's a good deal. <laughs> That's definitely a good deal. Man. I have never seen that before. Yeah, I would, I would take that deal too. <laughs> That's definitely a good deal. Absolutely. Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get that again. Mm -mm. That was the last time. That's why. <laughs> they're trying to get rid of them, so they're basically like, we can make $5 if we have to. Mm -hmm. Because this pack probably would have been about $40. Mm -hmm. And I asked her, I said, Sure, this hair is decent. She's like, yeah, you should try it. I mean, Saga, Saga, Sasha, look at it. They look good hair. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You know? I like the Empire. Really, so. we'll the Empire one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's thicker, too. Yeah. It's a lot thicker. Mm -hmm. So I understand why you like that one. It's thicker. Yeah, that one is, it has, it's more coarse. Mm -hmm. And it has more volume to it. Mm -hmm. These are more silky. Even though they say yakky, they're still silky. <laughs> so she doesn't want it a lot in her face. So what I'm doing is I'm diagonaling the traps where instead of me starting way over here, I'm starting farther this way so that it'll be easier for her to pull it out of her face rather than it dropping straight down in her face. And then she doesn't want it thick, so I'm spacing out the tracks a little bit more on the sides so that I don't run the risk of making it too full. So it's better to make it full on the top where you're going to close it rather than full on the bottom. I mean, you don't have enough coverage on top. So right now you can kind of see in between but that's on purpose because I'm gonna now use a lot more hair here so you won't see in between down here, but we're, we're, we're doing something. Just follow me. Y'all just follow me. All right, so this
what else do you do for your waist? No, only comb waves, but I don't do it on long hair. So we're going to use some masking fibers just to remove the line between her hair and the extensions. Kind of helps to blend out that line.
On the side. Mm. You want it shorter? It's long. <laughs> it's fine. It is on fine. the side. No. Tell me now. Yeah, you said it's yeah, fine. You yeah. want it shorter? Yeah. Okay. I, just a little shorter. I, I told you. <laughs> but it seemed like when I got that eight, it was too short. Hair was too short. Right. So getting the longer hair is still. So we're gonna go ahead and curl her up. So we're going to use the one inch ceramic from the black diamond collection to curl her. You can also use the Vavachi. Um, that will work just the same.
Okay, they said your hair is cute, girl. Mm -hmm. Still got some left on top of that, so okay. I didn't even use one piece of the tin. Okay. So you can put that back in there. Right. You know, I'm gonna do Zell. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to grab a card. Thank you. Thank you. Right, my dear. Right, so we're gonna get Miss Maya finished up, which the bulk of the work is done. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you guys don't know the labor that goes on with her here. She now for me. Chin down, Maya. Stop trying to see yourself. Just put your chin down. Merry Christmas to everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I hope you all have a safe, wonderful. And I'll see you soon. Yes, ma'am. I'll see you in January. Okay. Be safe. Okay. You too, brother. Is it restaurant this way or that way? Right next door to the left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some, some, I'm sorry, but I think a lot of stylists should watch Crystal and listen to how she cares as well, but can't teach that part. No, you can't teach that.
All right. So she has her little mushroom going on here. Chin down for me for the 19th time. I'm going to turn off the TV. Chin down. <laughs> she just keeps trying to see herself. I'm trying to read the comments. Maya, here, girl. <laughs> here, girl. Since you want to read comments, here. <laughs> here. You can moderate and read comments. Look, for free. <laughs> She's so aggravated. <laughs> like, let me just help her out. <laughs> They go to comments in okay. there. Now you got to read them aloud. Thank you. Read them aloud? Mm-hmm. Because now you're moderating. You see what happens when you push for things? Now you got it. Super cute. Oh, is it that neck resistant? Listen, she will. I'm like, I keep trying to push her neck down, and she keeps trying to look at the TV. She reminds me of Christian. <laughs> Funny. Is she natural or relaxed? No, she's relaxed. What? Potential spam. Ignore yeah, it. Ignore you. She's very relaxed. <laughs> she just has really dense hair. Mm. <laughs> and we just actually relaxed her today. Okay. And it's still super dense. It was worse than this. I'm going to say, Maya, are you getting rid of the bonnet? <laughs> She's going to burn it. Listen, listen. It's called burning of the bonnets. So, <laughs> if my hair get worse, it's going right back on me, y'all. Sorry. And she's dead serious, too. That's the sad part. <laughs> Mike said, do you do any type of hair? Huh? Do you do any type of hair? Do I do any type of hair? Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume you mean culture. <laughs> yes. I'm going to assume that you mean culture. Like a culture kind of thing, like Caucasian versus African American or something. So, yes, I do. I am multicultural. Any other comments? Mm. Are they talking amongst themselves? <laughs> Some of them are talking amongst themselves. Somebody said, yes, yeah, she does a beautiful job. I've seen it. And then a head of full and beautiful, gorgeous hair. That she cares oh, nothing thank about. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that she cares nothing about. You know? It's always the people who don't so really real. care for their hair <laughs> that has amazing hair. You, it's just those <laughs> ones. <laughs> It's pretty already looks so thick and healthy. Yeah, Somebody <laughs> said, Maya, how long will this last? I a don't know. A day. A <laughs> day. I don't know. You guys don't know, Maya. I don't know. The only good thing is that it's possibly something that she can wrap. Mm -hmm. So she might be able to keep it for like a day or so. But two very ungifted people with hair live in the same house. <laughs> no, no offense. No offense to my favorite, but both of them don't know how to do it. Nope. You said, Maya, are you still going to color your hair? I want to. I just don't know what color. I don't know who's going to do it. You? Okay. <laughs> you're not going to come waste my time in color. <laughs> I'm about to charge you extra just because I know you're wasting time in color. <laughs> no, ma'am. You. Since burgundy, but I had burgundy before. I 
say yeah. blonde, but she said so many little mm-hmm. older. Yeah. Blonde is not. I would never be a blonde. You're, you're gonna be bald by the time you're done. I'm gonna be bald. Oh yeah, because mm-hmm. you don't take care of your hair enough to let it sound if you're blonde. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Excuse me. No, ma'am. Burgundy is good. That's a starting place. I had burgundy already. You had hair too, but that means nothing. So. Um. Very pretty, healthy, thick hair. Please keep it up. I'ma try. Y'all are so encouraging. Please do not waste your energy, my people. So I said, my peeking again. <laughs> The color of crystal shirts. I think she'll do okay with burgundy because it's not an extreme high lift color, and I can do that on her hair while it's dark. I think that it'll be a, a healthier alternative for her. You you just have to know your client. <laughs> she is not a client that I would commit color to. <laughs> so I feel Maya after I get up from the chair before I get to the car. Crystal got a new hairdo. Okay, okay, I see you. Got a new wig. Mm. Ooh, sorry. I was trying to get under that now. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. In how many months will you return to get your hair done? See, that is, see, good. See, that's, the, that's a that good question. question. TZR. TZR, thank you for being so honest. That's a good because question. we know who we're talking know. about here. <laughs> When's the last time she got a relaxer? The last time I cut her hair. That was in August. August. <laughs> it's December. I don't know. School, yeah, school just life just kicks in when I go to school. So, I don't know. I'm gonna try to come back at least February. Mm. I bet you just my mama <laughs> calling me. Oh no, it's my friend. He gonna have to wait. You so say you're welcome. I saw when Maya came in. Mm-hmm. Who's on? She was in the shop. We have a whole video with Maya. Oh, for your hair that day. That's when I was just recording. Them. Oh. so many people on here mm-hmm. all day since 9 a.m all right you guys so we still have to cut her bangs but i'm gonna do that last I said wash day yesterday use all my products still my hair and it feels so good with the exception of my ends made an appointment with my stylist for an inch very nice good 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 teach her that you guys just keep giving her all your testimonials about what happens when you actually wash your own hair and take care of it I do wash my hair I just can't see I guess I'm just not doing it good enough I oh, said, yeah, right. we saw the whole lecture in transformation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you told me how to take care of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and look, she's back for another haircut with a head full of hair and did nothing to it. Sorry, y'all. Oopsie daisy. How often do you train? Like every t- every day that you're here? Hmm. Yeah. Somebody me? said, mm-hmm. my oh, you mean on the mm-hmm. thing? Yeah, just I just go live. I'm crying. Somebody said, Maya, we'll see you in April. <laughs> of 2024. Oh. These people are funny. So are the people that's listening or looking on, are they stylists? Mm-mm. No. It's just YouTube. Okay. It's regular YouTube. Anybody? I just come on. Some people be on here all day with it in their ear at work. And they're in court somewhere <laughs> defending someone and they listening to me. 
And all you hear is objection, but the ear pod falls out. I don't know. Mike said she would look good with blue also. Like blue hair. Yeah, blue would look nice. But y'all don't encourage mom blue. Maya to do foolishness. You actually have to take care of that. Blue is a high lift color, so blue is a I'm no. A, I'm going to have to... When they say blue, like blue, black? Like, no, no, blue, blue, blue. Like indigo or royal blue. Okay. But blue is a very high lift color. Like, you have to get almost white to be blue. Gotcha. Now, what's an easy color I could put on besides the burgundy? Purple. Purple? Mm -hmm. Same family. But that's right. Yeah, anything in that family is going to be easy, Maya. Okay, and right now we're we're looking at anything easy for you. <laughs> That's where we are. Somebody said, "Yep, yeah, we gotta listen to Crystal every day." Mm -hmm. they, some of some of the people on here are really on here every single day. And then I cook at home at night, and they'll be on there at night too. Just put a couple of strips of blue or purple in her hair, like you know, the quick weave. Even that's gonna go, look into this blue. go to the poops because Maya don't know nothing about weave. Maya is not gifted in hair. She's very educated, but not in hair. Mm. Do you guys know that every couple years I cut Maya's hair off for some reason or another? <laughs> Somebody I said, give my clip-in color pieces. That's easy. That's, that is exactly <laughs> what she needs, some clip-ins. You cannot go wrong with that. I'm going to say violet. That's purple. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I hear our fun I said I've been watching you do hair a long time. You really care about your clients and are very professional. I wish I can find someone in Miami like you. Oh, thank you. Some Somebody days said, I'm told I'm professional, others I'm so unprofessional. I feel like I get mixed reviews. I can never find anything. Ay, ay, ay. You see catch Someone said I don't have a life, so I'm on every day. I enjoy it. <laughs> well, thank you for being so honest. Um, said I like looking at people who are real and love what they do. Blessings to you, Crystal and family. Thank you. All right, turn this way for me. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of create that mushroom silhouette. Um, how we do that is I've parted out her sideburns, which is here. And then we just go around and kind of give her a little bluntness up to a certain point. Somebody said I work from home and Krista gets me through my day. <laughs> well, that's good. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can you cut this? Cut it to one. It's like a long, uh, you want it like shorter? Or yeah. Like a spike or? Yeah. Hold on. Wait, no, this is not my phone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, you might see things you should not see in my phone. <laughs> Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, my pants are really Oh, my long. gosh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Short like that? Yeah. Okay. Maya, uh -huh. I need to cut without you trying to turn your head. <laughs> Said, happy Christmas. Thank you. I said, Maya, what school do you go to? So I go to Cookman, Bethune Cookman University. 
But don't come in college, y'all. No, university. Don't do it. It's been a college for we a long have, time. We honey. have problems, but it's they, definitely. They love to try to give themselves a little bigger name. It's been Bethune took from college forever. <laughs> y'all, even where it's at, it's still college. University. Next thing you know, Valencia going to start calling themselves <laughs> university, too. I'm an elementary ed. Got a lot of kids. Mm, okay. Right now, huh? <laughs> Until they get older and they start to talk. <laughs> and they start telling you things. Somebody said chasing her in circles. <laughs> you guys don't know how hard it is to do Maya's hair in this chair because she cannot keep her head in one place. Somebody said, Maya, you kind of favor the singer Fantasia. Listen, my friends at school, when I got my first cut, that's what they started calling me. When I see you. Fantasia. <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> See, these kids are crazy. Um, somebody said, my your hair is beautiful. Please take care of it. You don't want to lose it. Tell her again, try. please. Somebody said, I love that look. Me and that neck. Somebody <laughs> said, that is great, Maya. We need good teachers. Yes, we do. I have one more year, and then I'll be teaching. I said, great job watching you from Baltimore, Maryland. In Baltimore. I say your hair is so thick and healthy, give it to me. <laughs> she don't care about it. So she <laughs> might as well give it to somebody. So that is what you know what I mean. Head up another back. Somebody said, wait, it went away. Oh, reminds me of doing your son's head and telling him to stop being a noodle head. That is Maya. <laughs> Gotta have a prep talk before we start because she does not listen. <laughs> Somebody said, I saw your hair before and now after you should give a big tip. Hi, tip. Can you, can you not because... <laughs> If y'all know who her father is, you would understand that that is a bold faced dishonest lie. Because <laughs> her dad be like, why you charge my baby so much? <laughs> so I said, Crystal doesn't know this, but we get the best therapy on here. It's free. We laugh, we joke, we smile. And I mean, you might as feel well. truly blessed on here. Plus, Crystal keeps it real. For real, and don't bite her tongue. Oh, thank you guys. All right, so what I'm doing is just curling her ends a little bit because I cut some of the curl off. Which, with this style, you don't have to have a ton of like curl because it's supposed to be kind of like just like a little flowy looking mushroom kind of look. Hola from Wyoming. Hello, Wyoming. I'm bald headed for real. How long was her hair? How long was your hair? It was, was um, her, her top was a lot longer because she did a side, a side. Um, okay. Yeah. Thank you. My sis love that your cook had that once and lived by my Diane Cone. LOL, what is that? It's one of these little red king. Oh. My sis, give me your hair, Maya. <laughs> Yeah.
beautiful. Yeah. I'm a part of the ball head club. You were already ball head from the beginning, girl. You were already. Sweet. But now I'm for real, for real ball head. And you can count the 32 strands like the rest of us. <laughs> Her hair is pretty. Love it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So you want to show them the picture that you showed me? Let's see how close it huh? is. Where's the picture? Which one? The one you showed me of how you wanted it done. Oh. So let's see how close it is to the picture. I don't know. So we're going to check. I just have thicker hair than her. She does. She has thicker hair. You get closer. There we go. To the side. Mm. Mm-hmm. Other side. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I think we got close enough. Mm. All right, ma'am. Yay. Said very cute. Looks good. Thank you, guys. I'm bald. All right, my dear. Now I'll be looking in the mirror for I don't know. Got no time on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let me check the mirror. Can you check the card that I put on there? No, that's the card you want. Is that the card you use? Oh no, I don't have that card. Mom has that card. Oh, okay. So you come with your mother's money. <laughs> Always. It's a little bit higher now that you come with her. And you put the wrong thing, girl. I did. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? You, that's not a retouch. You're nowhere near a retouch, my love. That is a virgin. Oopsie. <laughs> virgin cutting. So that's the remainder. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's not the remainder. Hold on. I gotta take this off. That's the remainder. Okay. You, is that what you use for the deposit for that card? Yeah, the one for the deposit. Okay. Alrighty, Thank you. I will see you. Have a happy new year and a merry Christmas. I'll see you when I see you. Yes, girl. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> will you out here when you come back? <laughs> Yes, honey. Filing client of the year. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. What do you want me to close? Yeah. 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 Pins, yeah. So I have to use the bobby pins for the other parts. <clears throat> All right, chin down for me. So we're going to curl her and pin curl her. So we'll do a slightly tighter curl, and then we're gonna pin curl her. I swear this is boring more than anything else. My goodness. So because I know I'm going to pin curl her, I'm going to definitely make my ringlets nice and tight. I'm still using the one inch ceramic black diamond.
So what do you think would be safer for me to use to add volume to top, the top, as far as extension? Um, this without doing any more damage. I mean, you're under potential of damage no matter what, because you're putting something that doesn't belong to you. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say tapings because you're not, you might not have enough coverage up there for me to like cover the tapings. Um, you can do a couple micro link tracks, but I think your issue period is the density. Like you don't have a lot of density. Mm -hmm. So I would probably say just bonding them in because that's the flattest that you can get them. And then I can disguise the bonding by putting the tracks closer together. Whereas with like tapings and stuff, that's a little bit harder. And then the bonding is easy to take out. The glue is not the glue it used to be. Like they used to have this glue called 007. Okay. It was literally water resistant. It was the only glue that I could use because it would stay in for two to three weeks as a hair glue. And I perspire every single day. And I think they stopped making that glue because it was so toxic, but it was the best glue that they ever made. <laughs> if I can find that glue, you would need my own best thing. <laughs> just trying to, I have a party in January. That's why I actually got the finger waves. Oh, and I was just okay. trying to get something nice for the party. Oh. It didn't have to be, you know, something I was going to wear for a long time. And gluing tracks, you don't have to wear it. You probably make it to the next appointment. You just rinse them out. But you probably just kind of slide out later on. Mm -hmm. To the second one. Being based someplace other than Wisconsin, Florida sounds good. No, no, <laughs> pick somewhere else. Florida is not good. <laughs> the more people that come, the less money that's here. Mm -hmm. It was already poor as it is. Oh, okay. Crystal, I like your blouse. Beautiful. Thank you. So what do you have planned for the holidays? Oh, we're going out of town. Oh, okay. okay. That is all. So we're going to spray her with some goddess polish and then we're going to go ahead and pin curl her. How we pin curl, real simple. So you take your comb and you're going to just make sure that you pin curl your hair in the direction that you're typically going to wear it. Okay, so I put a little bit of goddess polish. I'm going to make my pin curls nice and smooth.
And you take your pin and drop it there. Doesn't matter how many um, pin curls. Mm -hmm. So the more pin curls, the tighter the curl could possibly be. Okay. But Even if you're, because you always have to flat out it first, right? That's going to give it. Right. So you have to create the shape first. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, that's why you saw me go all the way around, mm -hmm. curl it all up. And then I start creating my pin curl instead of me doing it one curl at a time. Mm -hmm. I just kind of like go around and then create my shape. And then I'll pin curl it all together based on the section that it's in. So I don't over direct hair from another section. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna pin it, it as, as, much of, as much hair that's in that section, you keep in that section. Does that make sense? I think so. so the amount of hair that they like you say how this side is, is yes. slimmer mm -hmm. I'm not gonna direct hair from right here over here to make a pin curl because then that's exactly how the hair is gonna lay okay so you want to make sure you pin curl your hair in the direction that you'd normally style it or how you're going to style it so that you don't run the risk of this piece becoming a fish hook and this hair mm -hmm. being in the wrong place now it's sticking up because that's the way you laid it All right, so back here, if you guys notice, I'm lifting it up. So I'm not doing the pin curl down here on purpose because I want to give volume in this area. So I'm going to pin it just like I would for my clients who are long. I'm going to pin it the same way. And then back here, I'm going to split this in two. Now you can do it as one, but it's it's a very large section, so that pin curl is gonna end up coming out. So instead, I'm doing it in two. how you keep your curls you guys you can do this with weaves you can do this when you're natural and you just got a silk press and maybe you want your hair to stay curly and straight you can pin it just like this and then when you pin it like this you can lay down on it it'll go nice and flat but the curl will never go away so I used to do this whenever I had really long weaves I'd curl my hair and then I would pin curl it and twist it down and then go to bed at night. And that's how my hair would stay nice and curly. Now we're gonna spray her with a little bit of Sebastian Shaper. Now this is not a necessity, but it's definitely good to use as an aid so your hair keeps the form. Okay, it doesn't need to be super laid. Because remember, Curls are not supposed to be very, very neat. They're supposed to look overnight-ish. So that's the reason why this works so well. Just like Bantu nuts, same thing. She is all pin curled up. You'd have to bring your card with you, oh. okay? Okay. I don't do the card on file only just because of my axe, but going forward, you have to have that card with you or whatever card you want to use. Let's see. I mean, I have that with me. Okay. 
How do I pay normally? How was I doing it with your with the um the same way you swipe the card on the No no in time pass, you remember? Oh what did you use mm -hmm. before? Oh I don't know. Okay. This one, this system it doesn't track what you use on previous times unless I go back to that date and search it. Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? Because I don't remember doing it this way. Oh, because I used to do it on my phone. Okay. So this is this is the real big version gotcha. to my phone. That's what you mean. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, this will be the same thing, but you just use my cell phone. Or whether now I don't use my cell phone. Right, so you can tap it or you can insert it. There you go. I got it, don't worry. Thank you. Let me get cleaned up. Don't want to leave in here dirty. Okay. And then, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And then um, pick which type of receipt you want. Okay. All right, my dear. It's good to go. Thank you, my dear. Enjoy your holiday. Yeah. And be safe. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you in January. Yeah. Okay, mama. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. So I'm just packing up my little items that I need to take home with me, which is that much. I just need my irons, my combs, a very small amount, amount of gel, not much. Because basically, I have no plan of coming back into the salon. So, I'm just taking a little bit of anything that I know I'm going to use a lot of. And then make sure that I don't leave anything behind. Alright, that's good. dirty no I'm not gonna go into the new year with a dirty place so I want to make sure that when I come in here my place is nice and clean I'm just putting away all my little things here I'm gonna wash my little um my clips not my clips my um what are they called Lord my guards I'm gonna wash those real quick, set those to dry. All my irons are off. You know I went away on a trip the last time and my irons were still on? Ask me how, but I did. So here's what we're going to do. I need 
to sweep this floor because it has so much crud on it. So we're just gonna move everything out of the way, sweep. These books are actually gonna go in the garbage. I won't be keeping the books anymore. Hey. So yeah, the books are gonna go in the garbage. I'm not keeping the books. Um, they've been around long enough. At this point, having books really serves no purpose because everybody has a cell phone and you have access to pictures everywhere. So me personally, they're just kind of crudding up the salon and just adding more junk color on the face. So. When I'm leaving today, I'm going to put them in the garbage. I'm just sweeping up, making sure that I don't leave anything dirty. I'll actually use this box to put them in the garbage. are so awesome. Okay. That can go in there. That stays over there. garbage. So I have all of this stuff right here to go in the garbage.
clean my mirrors real quick. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're nice and clean. I just sprayed some bleach in here. So I'm just gonna clean this off.
drop that vase that I was throwing away yesterday in the hall, um, in the stairwell, and I'm like, oop, let me go clean it up before next thing you know. They say that um, I just left it behind and didn't clean it. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna walk to the garbage can. We're gonna throw out whatever needs to be thrown out. TV off, and make sure all my tools are off. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, yoke. So I guess I need to change my shoes so I don't have to carry these. Okay. I'm going to put my sandals in my purse. Keys. Can't forget you guys, can I? Got to bring it with me, right? Turn that off. Thank you, Grace. Love you too, girl. Y'all didn't know that Grace is my rich aunt? Mm-hmm. Wait. All right, we're going to have to do something here. I can't do it all. So this one. I have to put this stuff inside of here because there's no way I can carry this like this. Okay. Thank you guys. Okay, let's try this again now. I have no plan of coming back in here, so we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to do this in one walk. <laughs> I have no plan of walking back into this salon. Everything turn off, yeah, yeah. Dry is clean, yeah. Everything clean, yeah. All right. Let me give y'all a once around of the shop because it's clean now. Except for my TV that I'm not going to be bringing home right now. Everything's clean. Okay, everything's off. That stays on. So, All right, we're just going to turn off the light. Y'all see how that stays on? Absolutely. Yes, my dear. Right. Got keys. Got my phone. Got this box. And we are out of here. We're going to make our way to the garbage can and not come back in here until next year. You know what's the craziest part? I make it seem like 2023 is five months from now. <laughs> Once I dump this trash, my hands will feel better because right now I feel like, ugh. Garbage can, I go. Oh, yes. Huh. I made it to the garbage. Hey, Jordan. Thank you, Kathy. Woo. Oh, man.
I gotta get some premium soda first. I'm gonna get premium soda first and then I'll get the premium air. Premium soda comes first though. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, premium soda. I love this wig though. I wish they had more and I would have definitely put it back on the site, but the vendor doesn't have any more. Mm -hmm. It's one of those, I don't really care what you think kind of wigs because I'm Selena in. Yeah, y'all see how I'm sweating from trying to get to the garbage? Oh Lord. I need it here. Yes, this feel nice. Thank you. I think honestly, I'm gonna razor this part down so that it will really stack anyway. I'm gonna razor that part off. She's definitely a wig that I'm not throwing out. I probably I had her so long I didn't throw her out, and that's kind of odd because I can even make her deeper of a part, or I can make her not so deep and make her look like a regular part. Hmm, that works too. I like that little part right there. Okay, I look like my mom right now. What's the temperature here? 64. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find the vendor directly again. I don't know why I don't see Selena anymore. So I'm going to see if I can get to the vendor. I haven't used them in so many years. Like, it's been over a year now. Taking that last look because you would not be there for a while. Absolutely. I'm sitting here and enjoying this fresh breeze first. Okay, you guys. <sighs> Ooh, my poor phone.
Thank you. All right, you guys. I am going to let you guys go. If I possibly do a cook with me tonight, then I will um, get back on live. I don't know if I'm going to do one or not. I kind of just feel like I've worked all week. And I really don't want to do, like, anything. Yeah. But if I do, I'll be on live. If not, then I'll see you guys sometime tomorrow. Um, I got to go get my nails done in the morning. Finally, these beasts, these hawks that I've been holding on to, they get done in the morning. Um, get my feet done. Look like somebody again. I get my hair done on Friday. So excited. Anyway, you guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for working with me. Don't forget to share the channel with your friends and family. And then I'll see you guys later.